I love it. I love it. All right. Each of you is in the middle of a plane shift. And as the plane shift ends, you first hear the calm sounds of birds singing and a gentle breeze rustling through leaves of nearby trees. As your vision returns, you notice either a sunrise or a sunset in the clear blue sky. And the air is a dry heat, void of much moisture, but otherwise comfortable. There are people next to you, which is each of you, and you know why you are here and what lies ahead. You've been recruited for your specific skill set. <coughs> hired by an entity that goes by the name of the teacher. You've worked for this entity before, but have never met them. But the job benefits are the best deal you've had in a long while. Full medical, dental, and life insurance policies. <laughs> and 401k is an unlimited paid vacation, as, you're, as long as you report for the occasional job. Today, your job is to destroy a demon baler that has been plaguing this specific place in time and space phenomenon that is rare. You go ahead and you look around and we'll have you introduce yourselves. You're welcome to have already met each other, but maybe this is the first time you've worked together. We'll start with Zach. <laughs> Probably the least prepared to introduce myself. <laughs> Do you want to go last? You can go last. Who would like to go first? You could just do uh, No, I can go first. It's fine. See a man wearing nice but somewhat travel-worn um, robes underneath a breastplate of armor. He seems tired. As the phase shift comes to an end, he just kind of like immediately starts looking for somewhere to sit down. And as he walks past some of you, he's like, Hey, Carlan, demigod of war and magic, you know, the... Decimator, you know, the, the spark of bloodshed. You know, I've got a lot of names, whatever. That's wonderful. Awesome. Um, any special features that we need to know about your character? No, he seems like a perfectly normal looking person. <laughs> Good to know. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Who would like to go next? All right. Uh, you see first, probably actually, a <laughs> absolutely massive creature covered in well-brushed brown fur uh, with and two very large uh, ivory tusks <laughs> to which are strapped massive etched cold uh, cold iron um, blades. And this massive mammoth also has a glowing sigil of an arrow kind of down the front of its brow. And after you see this mammoth that looks completely out of time and like <laughs> definitely not from the present era you see kind of tending to it and like brushing it a six foot five 300 pound absolute beast of a half orc um with long kind of like almost like a dark rust colored hair loose at first but coming down into like a loose braid towards the middle of the back with almost like glowing yellow eyes oh i i wanted so badly to interrupt when you said you see this massive fur covered beast and then i was gonna say and right behind it was a mammoth <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, I should also mention the half-orc is also wearing, like, <laughs> basically, like, chainmail armor. But, like, the plate over the chain is, like, etched with, like, glowing, uh, like, celestial runes. Oh, and he also has a incredibly mean-looking sword across his back. Which is mean, a... Mean, like, it's gonna insult your mother? Or, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a falchion. Um, like, a massive down the stairs. falchion. Tell those laughy chappy jokes. Awesome. And what is your name, Noah? Uh, his name. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what voice comes to him later. But his name is Ong, and uh, his companion's name is Aka. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Ong, of course, spelled O N G. <laughs> o N G. Aka A K K A. At first, you see this enormous copper dragon. <laughs> Just <laughs> shimmering scales, <laughs> kind of ruffle its uh, its wings to get situated, and it's wearing a surprising amount of clothing for a dragon. You know, it's got like this this sort of like showy billowing cloak, um, and on on the back of this cloak, you see this odd symbol. It looks like it it looks like it's a language, but it's not one that y any of you probably speak. <laughs> Excellent, magic users might. 
but it's essentially a hand with that inscribed in the palm. And on top of this dragon, you see a man, young-ish, um, sandy golden hair, <laughs> a little bit disheveled, wearing quite nice-looking armor, a sword and shield uh, in either hand, and he, he just kind of pats the dragon on the head as he's sitting, like, basically as close up on the shoulders as he can get. <coughs> and he just says, no, no, Sephora. Another happy landing. <laughs> is your, na- your dragon's name is Sephora? Yes, it is. <laughs> As in the makeup company? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my god. My character's name is Aragon. Aragon. Is that with an A? Yes. <laughs> like Aragorn and Aragon together. Aragon. Basically. That's actually his last name. His first name is Thomas, but he prefers to go by T Aragon or Tarragon. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's true. As in the spice. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. So looks wise, kind of what I put in, you see a youngish elven woman shaved on the sides, long hair on top. A lot of very dark makeup, definitely a very goth style. Instead of the clothes she has in the image, uh, she does have a silver rapier at her side. Um, But instead of the cloak and armor, she is actually wearing an all black Camino with a white cherry blossom tree on it. Very goth-esque. But if you've ever worked for her with her before, she is incredibly goth, but also the most bubbly, happiest person you've ever met. <laughs> her favorite color is just the color black, and she really, really likes that color. Great. What's her name? Uh, Nukes. Nukes. How does... Nukes Lahar. Uh, I'll put that in chat. Okay. So as you guys are Nukes the Air is her name. Nukes. Love it. She. This was originally my irradiation build. Hence the name. Oh, nuke. I did. Uh, yeah, I was like, nuclear. Nukes. Love it. I love it. Oh, it's wow. Well done. I love the I was thinking nukes the air. <laughs> nukes the air. That too. Dangerous stuff. You don't want to breathe that. Mm-hmm. All right. So as you're looking I hope at, that medical's good. at yourselves, at your companions, at the behemoths. How big is this dragon, by the way? How big is... Same size as the mammoth. Yeah, same size as the mammoth. It's actually gargantuan. It's actually gargantuan. They're just like looking at each other. bigger than the mammoth. It skips... I didn't realize it skips from large straight to (laughs) gargantuan. Seriously? (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) We're never going to show you to the Baylor. I love it. Now I'm worried about us all fitting next to it. <laughs> yeah, you fly. better have a big battlefield in mind. <laughs> I'll just hover. I love it. I love it. Okay, so as you look around now, the ground beneath you is a black stone appearing as one giant slab of rock. But upon further inspection, you can tell it's made up of what surely must be trillions of smaller individual black pebbles. Straight ahead of you is a 15 foot tall fence made from iron bars. The fence goes out to either side, gently curving inward around about like a hundred yard mark out of sight, um, becoming blocked by buildings that are within the fence, to which you can only assume the fence is circular. The buildings to the sides are single story, rectangular, made of a light reddish brick and tan stone. Within the gate, the black ground you are on changes to gray, but it's still just as flat and huge as the black stone you are on. In the center of the enclosing, or from what you can tell is the center, is a three-story structure. This building has windows only on the second and third floor. It's made up of the same light reddish brick and tan stone as the other buildings. But unlike the other buildings that are rectangular, this one is circular. It's about 200 feet in diameter. From this angle, outside the iron fence, you can see a silver cover lining the roof, but you do not see any door from this angle. A humanoid creature quickly runs past each of you, jogging up to the gate. 
They're wearing a black co cloak with the hood up, but this cloak has been cut off at the hips. The creature has a dark blue bag secured to their back with two straps, and their pants are dyed tan and are cut off at the knees, revealing black shoes instead of boots. The creature doesn't hesitate as it puts a hand covered in its black cloak on part of the iron fence that swings open. It's about 10 feet wide that this gate opens. Shit. Oh shoot, no, it should be a 15. It's like 1520, it's 1520, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fine, we're gonna make it. Right. You can squeeze so far. You're good, It's hinges. Could have a reduced person. <laughs> <laughs> right? That it's wouldn't work, it's a mammoth. Uh, it's hinges, it's hinges are squeaking um, in the silence, break the silence. The creature, this human or creature, darts inside, not looking back to make sure the gate properly closes, and begins to jog again towards the center building, holding tightly to its bag straps. The gate slowly begins to close. What do you want to do? I run forward. Do we have any instructions on like what we're like where to find this thing, or are we just here? No, no, you're just here. You know that this bailer is near here. You've been you've been brought to this place for reasons. So usually what you do is when on jobs like this, you you're usually brought to a place and you can scout out things. You're not usually brought to the center of the action, but um, you are close enough that you should be able to find it without too many instructions. Nukes goes in first, and you're following I'm this creature. I'm running straight in. All right, nothing happens to you. You just go straight through this. This fence, you're following this creature as it goes towards this center building. I'm gonna wrap to the creature. Creature. I'm gonna cast a spell on myself. Alright. I will also cast a spell on myself. I'm going to cast planar infusion on myself uh, and give myself the infusion of the plane of positive energy. Ooh. I'm gonna cast spell turning. Oh. Nice. I'm gonna ch like, shout out to this creature. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of hold my hand out from atop my mount and shout, Hail, fellow. <clears throat> We're here to help. Mm -hmm. They don't turn, and uh, Nukes, as you're running up towards them as well, they don't, they don't slow down or speed up or turn to look at you. No reaction. I, I um, uh, wait, 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 um, do you know what that building is? Keep jogging. All right, fine. And I'm going to cast a spell on myself. Power word kill. I'll cast no fly on time. myself. <laughs> fine. I cast power word kill on that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You do, Zach? No. Wait, no, okay. I was no, like. <laughs> I won't. I could, but I'm not going to. No. <laughs> Um, I take it everyone's kind of following and watching to see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, this humanoid jogs counterclockwise around this center building until it reaches two adjacent red metal doors, each with a silver handle. The creature grabs one of these handles and pushes on the top with its thumb to open it and enters the building. On the inside oh, that's going of, to be a problem. <laughs> on the inside of the door, um, Nukes, you can read... You can see there's a scroll that's been posted on the door. Um, it's in a foreign language. What language do you speak? What languages do you speak? I should figure out what languages I speak. I should probably do that too. <laughs> oh yeah, language. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. The speaking I'm... with the words in the mouth. Dragon's not a language. I would <laughs> speak <laughs> common, elven, dwarven, uh, celestial, draconic, Oh, what is it called? Um, and Ogwen. You see the scroll first, and you see letters on it that look similar to the blocky style of Dwarven, but you cannot read this script. I read <clears throat> Common, Orc, Celestial, Giant, and Abyssal. Same for you. You cannot read this script. You guys is are it, all caught up to nukes by this point, so you can all see this uh, scroll. Let's is see. it one language per point of intelligence above 10. It's uh, per modifier, I believe. One additional per point of modifier. Um, but like okay. some races start play with two, so it's not like cut and dry. 
like half orcs start play with common orc, and then like their intelligence scores can push them higher. You got any ranks in linguistics? Oh yeah, L- ranks in linguistics also give you an additional language. Jordan, what languages can you speak? Anything new that has not been Common and draconic. All right, no, you cannot read this, <laughs> this script. I'm not a smart boy. <laughs> what about your dragon? What languages can your dragon speak? Oh, I should see what languages Aka can read. <laughs> um, actually, the dragon's smarter than me. Oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> we expected. Uh, we'll say <laughs> common, draconic, <laughs> and elven. Sorry, no. neither of those. No. But I do speak break this wall down, so. <laughs> is there anyone else around? No. This area is surprisingly just, like, desolate from people. It looks like it's a giant place. Like, there's buildings around. There should be people, but there's only this humanoid that you've seen that darted into this building. Anyone else have a strange feeling on the back of their neck that this isn't quite right? It's never quite right. Fair enough. Name one of these jobs that has gone quite right. I mean... Well, there, were, there were the rocks, but I would guess you couldn't fly. I could. Aka couldn't. Her ass wasn't so bad. Yeah, those fell and every one of them died. Alright, which one of you has the highest diplomacy score? I have a 23. I got a one. Oh, 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 that means one. Uh, West oh, score. <laughs> diplomacy. Diplomacy. Who has the highest diplomacy score? Uh, that's charisma three. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Asking about intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. George, or Judd, let's see, Zach, you have the highest with a 23. What is. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, okay, someone, someone, please. <laughs> that no. being said, I think all three of your diplomacy scores added up equal mine. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see, Car- Carlin, Carlin. Um, seeing as you know, this it's kind of regular for you guys to plane shift and get it to different places. Sometimes there needs to be that face of the party. You need to be able to <laughs> communicate with the locals, you could say. Um, so we'll say that you have become, you have come prepared for this um, with either a wand or a magical item that allows you to comprehend languages. Specifically for instances like this, so that you can do either communication with people or your recon. Okay. Wand of comprehend languages. All right. You have a wand of comprehend languages. Great. Okay. So you go ahead and use it on yourself? Yeah, I'm going to use it on the man. <laughs> oh my god. No, of course I'm going to use it on myself. That's great. The uh, mammoth has three inch, so. Right. The mammoth can read but not understand. Okay. Do you read the scroll? Nah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Carlin, you read the words as they form, and you notice that it's in all caps. Um, and the oh. words are in English, which what? is not common, and I'm not saying it's common, it's English. Oh, okay. It's a language, it's a language. And it says, land party this Saturday in the library. <laughs> oh my. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> got my Doritos at home. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> my character rage, even though they're not a barbarian. You were describing a hoodie. Oh, this, yes. is <laughs> this is Kamayakin. <laughs> yes, this is 100% Kamayakin. <laughs> uh, well, at least we get to see a Baylor destroy the place. <laughs> Lan. 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 It appears to be some kind of, um, what do you call it? Does Comprehend Ac- Languages also serve acronym? as the yes. unique spell Comprehend Acronyms? <laughs> everybody be very careful of... <laughs> <laughs> everybody be very careful of the chair. Just because I can understand the words does not mean I understand their meaning, though. Because Local Area Network has very sinister... <laughs> Wait, is it local area or local access? Local area. 
Local area thought, network. I thought I've always my entire life thought it was local access network. Local, oh no. Local area. Local area. It's your uh, basically you're not connected to the internet, you're connected to the computers around you. Right. Well, yeah. that's what I thought. Well, it's a, like essentially an intranet. From. Yeah. Um Well, there appears to be some kind of local area network party. You think there'll be ale? Well, I mean, if it's a networking bro- party, there will probably be different kinds of things, you know, like I mean, people networking. networking from around like the local area. Like, sounds like a um, cult to me. It's always a cult, you know, nine times out of ten. Uh, it says party oh, on the sign. It can't be that bad. A cult would use a word like gathering. You not know, remember <laughs> the party on that plane of fire? Yeah, you like, exactly. have a great time. <laughs> Maybe you did. I definitely did. <laughs> Most of the week fixing. I don't, my I don't think coach. I was at that one. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. It was a blast. <laughs> I smelled like fire for weeks. <laughs> Couldn't get it out of my hair. Well, how do you smell like fire? You mean you smell like smoke? Same difference. As someone who rides a dragon, I would hope you would know the difference. <laughs> oh, I fly over the. Di- well, actually, Sephora here. Doesn't use fire. That's true, I guess. Yes. Huh. Well, well, shall we go in? I guess we should just investigate. Yeah. That's what's. But I'm. I still think it's a cult. What do I mean? How big are the doors? Ten by ten. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, it's a. It's one of those rotating security oh, yeah, bar things. Totally. <laughs> 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 oh crap! Uh, uh, some kind of infernal contraption to force us one in, one at a time. Yes, I will say if Chelan is the is the Baylor, I will be forever grateful. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I climb the fence okay. and hop over the fence. I, I won't. I, it's too easy. I'm gonna go through the door. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll. I'll no, have that's the first drop, mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, have you worked with Nukes before? Nukes. She makes every single possible mistake. <laughs> Nukes enters. Hey, my my the wisdom library. is thirty, so I can't do that. <laughs> is there an overpowering stench in this library? Do we have to <laughs> constitution save? <laughs> does this smell does it like? <laughs> does this smell like teenage bo and um Mountain little Caesar's pizza <laughs> and Mountain Dew? It does. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Nukes, See, you're the first one in. Cult. I'm already sickened, and I'm not <laughs> even in like there. It, <laughs> it smells like cold. It smells good. Definitely have some food in there. <laughs> Nukes, do you go along without anyone? Well, we better go what? after it. I'm there. Uh, oh no, I'm there. I hopped. Right, I jumped over the fence. Cool. You're within the fence by this point. You are. You're right next oh, to the library okay. front door, which uh, is two metal doors. Um, so yeah, Nukes has gone into the library. There is an annoying metal divider in the middle. <laughs> there is an annoying metal divider in the middle. <laughs> I'm heading to the library as well. Alright. Okay. Uh, flying, like, two feet off the ground. Okay, Nukes flies into the library first. I'll follow close behind. Okay. At Sephora um, on the head, have her let me down, and then... <laughs> <laughs> you think they would mind if I widened the door a little bit? Never stopped you before. <laughs> Fair enough. Aka, okay, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine he just like looks at you and then just like ramps straight ahead. Uh, yep. Aka. Okay. Oh, good. Aka oh, okay is just going to trample through the wall. <laughs> um, as- <laughs> Completely ignores the door. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I mean, Aka feels this, like, resistance in a way, right? Where, like, it hits something Mm -hmm. and keeps going through. Um, and you all see, like, this door piece, um, for a moment, like, break through. Um, but then in one swift moment, like, after Aka's gone through, it's, it's replaced immediately. Like, it's... It's as though cult. it wasn't <laughs> damaged. Definitely at all. a cult. But Akka is inside. Definitely Just a cult. Not, not gonna damage. question it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cast another spell on myself. 
cast protection from spells. Okay. Can never be too careful with cults. Okay. Jordan, are you going in with Sephora or? Oh no, Sephora's staying at the front door. Okay, Sephora stays. Um, I'll give her the signal. If we all need. right. Okay. 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 I'm casting another spell. Okay. Oops, that is the wrong thing. That's fine for this spell. So just seeing the duration. Ten minutes per level. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. So I'm gonna take out my rapier and a rod. I'm gonna flip the rapier over so the hilt is up, cast spell sword on it, and then sl slide the rod that is bigger than the rapier into the rapier, and it just disappears into it. Whoa. That is cool. As you all enter this building, which is essentially one giant room, um, you notice there is a staircase by the door that leads to the second and third story where the above floors has a balcony that looks down into the center of the huge room. The first floor has walls and bookshelves full of tomes, but in the very center is a lounge area filled with desks, chairs, and strange square slabs of rock that stick straight up on these desks, which if any of you have traveled to high technologically infused planes, these are computers. <sighs> there are five other humanoids in this library and in this lounge area that look away from the slabs towards the creature uh, that has walked in before you. And the creature that um, has entered lowers his hoodie, revealing short brown-haired adolescent human male who moves and looks and waves to the other humans. Hi, Justin, Jacob, Tough, Noah. Hi, Mr. Hoagland. Waves to the adult in the corner. Hi, Zach, one of the other males says. <laughs> Yo, says one with glasses. Mr. Hoagland, apparently, the oldest of the group and sitting farthest away from everyone, waves over a pile of scrolls. Oh, leader. And then there's two scrolls. <laughs> beard. He's obviously he's some sort of wizard. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> okay, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna cast a ritual. I love it, I love it. Um, and I'll go ahead and move you guys over to the map here. Oh. I think she'll be sacrificed today, you cuz! I just watched Lord of the Rings, so I know it's weakness, Zack says, as he sits next to uh, another male with long brown hair. Zack pulls off his bag, and he reaches in and takes out a small black stone and places it on the desk next to the vertical slab. The slab suddenly displays a perfect picture of what you all know to be a demon bailer. A long with three words each of you can read. So you clicked onto this computer screen, uh, Zach has, and um, three words appear, which you can all read now. It reads easy, easy, medium, and hard. And the room freezes as time holds completely still, waiting for the difficulty to be chosen. Summoning a Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly I told what they're you. doing. <laughs> it's a cult. <laughs> it's absolutely a cult. a cult. There's no question. Listen, being a cult doesn't necessarily make them bad people, though. When have you ever come across a good cult? We've had this conversation how many times? You guys would know. My character is chaotic, neutral, and worships Lissa, um, the goddess of barbarians and sea raiders. So, like every time we come across a cult, sometimes they seem nice. They have even like little door prizes when you come in, maybe some snacks. But then, almost without fail, every every single time, it's always let's destroy the world. It doesn't even make any sense. Sometimes the whole cult they have mentality. valid points. But, but, but they want to destroy the world that they are living in. Like well, valid points, but I never said they were smart. And we stopped them and got on the free the, snacks. On the bright side, more demons people summon, more things we can kill in the glory of error still. And to be entirely honest, these ones look pretty takeable. Yeah, they all look pretty feeble. I don't know about that old man with the beard. He might be. Yeah. He looks like he might know some Eldritch secrets or something. 
Those are hey, I'm the one who knows Elder secrets. <laughs> well, perhaps you can interrogate him. <laughs> As you guys have been talking, you notice that time is frozen. Like, everything is frozen except for you at this moment. So, everyone has stopped moving. Everything isn't moving. You know, like, the sky isn't... I mean, if you could tell the difference of the sun moving. Um... I'm going to go over to the computers and look at the people at, like, get a closer look at the people at them and the computer screen um, that's paused. Mm, you notice that all of the screens look the same. They're all, like, of this valor that they're ready to fight. Um, which, if you've ever played a computer game, it looks like you're about ready to start. Like, press start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Noops has ever played a video game, but... <laughs> Uh, let me roll a d100. If we've been to a technologically advanced future, it's a minor possibility. Mm-hmm. Rondi. I just imagine that would just be the weirdest thing. Like, you play this 86. game, you, you attack me? 86. I've always wa- I've never gotten a chance to play them, but I've always, always wanted to. You're standing by a um, skinny, white-toned skin male with long brown hair. I start braiding his hair. <laughs> As you go to touch him, your your hand does not move his hair. I'm gonna cast um, contingency. Okay. I think I'm starting to get a better picture of what's going on here. I'm gonna give the whistle. <laughs> I'm assuming that there's not gonna be enough resistance when the dragon comes crashing through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Sephora definitely comes through. <laughs> Time has not stopped for her. <laughs> watch the one with the beard. What was that? I said, watch the one with the beard. <laughs> Mr. Oakland? <laughs> are the other computers on? the leader. Frozen as well. <laughs> um, like, are the other computers on and displaying it? Yes. Or just those? It okay. would be there um, of the five that are in here that are on which are all of you in 2014 playing this game. Um, there's uh, only Zax has the easy, medium, hard choice. The rest of them display that background of a Baylor um, looking like everyone has a keyboard in front of them, with their fingers on it and a mouse, and they're ready to... Ready to I pull up a chair and sit down at an empty computer. Okay. It appears that we have to you can move choose to one. one. Go ahead. <laughs> well, well, just let me know when you're about to start it. I got something I gotta do, like six seconds prior. <laughs> <laughs> like just, just six seconds prior. I always wanted to play one of these moving picture games. Uh, okay, so... Wait, are we all supposed to be at the computers? Where's the one with the easy, medium, hard on it? I'd say the one that you're at. Yeah, the, the uh, one on the... Well, yeah. you know, I'm inclined to just hit easy. I don't know why anyone would hit hard. Could be fun, though. Oh, you're all going to make me hit hard, hard, aren't That's you? That's too hard. We're going to do hard. Oh, um, before he okay. does that, um, right as he's about to press it, I'm going to uh, cast Divine Power. On. Uh... uh Divine power, huh? Genuine question. Should we all be at computers? <laughs> Ears look cushy. It's up to you. Um, but once you I'm do also press, casting haste. Once you do select a challenge rating, um, you're going to be entering combat. So just as a okay. heads up, if you my, want to My question you. is more, will we be able to participate in combat if we are not sat at a computer? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Right before he presses hard... I am going to spend a round activating Twin Fang, and Akka will split and merge into two perfectly identical mammoths. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I have a couple of things that I need to cast before I hit this button, so (laughs) I am also going to cast Divine Power. (laughs) Awesome. It's a good spell. Uh, Mm-hmm. I, it is a good spell. I cast uh, contingency, cast and my contingency is that I will cast polar ray whenever I cast polar ray. <laughs> <laughs> right, I love that. Everybody got and a spare. Then, 
<laughs> we got a bare bull strength laying around. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. uh, but I'm also going to cast a uh, spell resistance on myself and gain 32 spell resistance. Nice. And then I will say immediately after, like I uh, like summon the second mammoth. Basically, as he's hitting the button, <laughs> I'm going to use my free action to enter rage. But not just me, also both of my mammoths. Amazing. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I have never had a character with uh, spell resistance, and I've certainly never had a character with spell resistance this high. <laughs> Uh, I think I think it's actually literally impossible for this Baylor to hit me with anything magical. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for this? Yep. Get into yeah. it. Put your token where you want it, and your mammoth, and your dragon. Oh, okay, I'm also dragon. casting tactical mastery on myself. Let me move your. Um. Yeah. Technically, well, I think the dragon quick. needs to be bigger. <laughs> Nuke, nukes. I'd uh, I'd recommend uh, stepping aside a little bit. Wouldn't want you to get caught on your foot. Perfect. That big. All right, fine. <laughs> That's ideal. I love it. I love it so big. You know, right there. Are you on top of your dragon? Um. Yeah, I'll probably climb up. Okay. As everybody's buffing themselves. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll cast sit on a dragon. <laughs> cast sit on. <laughs> um. All right, you ready for this? These nukes kind of move to the side a bit. All right. And then we're going to need some combat music before I read the next part. Nukes. I need to double check, make sure I have no other spells that Nuke. I can <laughs> You might want to move nukes to the left a little bit. You can move through an enemy square, uh, an ally square. She's fine. Oh, okay. okay. Step right over. <laughs> Just you literally walk over. <laughs> like, this thing is so tall. <laughs> if I accidentally polymorphed your mammoth into, like, a mouse. Don't. Permanently. Don't. <laughs> the horror will eat you. Don't even try it. <laughs> okay, what if I polymorph one of these bookcases into another mammoth? <laughs> amazing. Uh, that I would not complain about. Holy mammoth book. When history comes alive. <laughs> right. Wow. Who is selecting <laughs> the challenge rating? Zach, are you clicking it? I am. Yep, yeah, I hit hard. Okay. You each feel something deep beneath your feet shift like a gear, and the sound of drums Oof. fill the air. Each oh my drum beat Freaking louder Jumanji. than the last. A chant begins to sound as well with each beat. Doom, doom. As you watch as the material plane pans out of sight, the humanoids disappearing, a light blue light shifting with it as though looking through the side of a mirror. Simultaneously, a light red light shifts a new plane into focus, patterned exactly after the ethereal plane that you are on. But now, instead of seeing the library with humans in it, you see the library become darker and more sinister, surrounded by a 20-foot radius of malevolent darkness. Five shapes begin to form. Man shape, maybe. I love it here. But greater. <laughs> and a power and terror seems to be in the darkness and go before it. Bright orange flames burn up out of the floor to a 14 foot height, wreathing the forms. Black shadowy ring wings erupt out from their backs, stretching out as ash being expelled from a volcano. And five maws open in a burst of red sparks, revealing fangs as thick arms bulge under the weight of each one of them has a blade like a stabbing tongue of fire in their right hand and a demonic flaming whip in their left hand. It's the five horned heads slowly turn to look at each of you 
its eyes consistency and color of lava. As the floor clicks into place with a grinding stop, the drums and chanting halt, and one word appears high in the center of the room in bright red colors. Fight. We need everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back to this here comes the, It's so cool. Here comes the one roll that matters. <laughs> oh, 18. I got a 24. Um, Almost as good as I possibly could have done. Are we rolling on roll 20 or are we... Oh, you want to roll? I, it's, it's, okay. Yeah, I forgot a spell that I needed to cast. Dang it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> It's not a big deal. It's just displacement. Oh, uh, well, rolling on like we can't directly input into the turn order though because we don't have like character sheets with the initiative. Thing. No, yeah, you're fine. You yeah. can just add in the uh, number. I am oh. gonna roll on roll twenty because it's gonna make math tonight a lot easier. There you go. Uh oh, uh -oh uh, guys. Twenty six. Natural twenty. Oh my oh. god! Dang it. See you guys next I'm week. Not first. Oh no. <laughs> I get three shots at initiative, so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to roll just one for the for the baddies. No! So we're gonna hope. <clears throat> I think everybody's gonna get to pick one. <laughs> yeah. I'd say no one is flat-footed. Everyone is prepared for this, by the way. 21, 22, 23. Oh, can my mammoth be in there twice? Oh, yeah. It will, you'll, they can both go on this, or they both have an initiative. So how do you want to do it? Do you want to have it, them go with they you? They have their own turns. Yeah. They basically will be going with me because of the way the initiative is working out. Um, but like, and they'll also go with me no matter what on the start, because I have the coordinated charge speed, but right. they, they have their own initiatives. Okay. And they've like straight up lined themselves up to be trained. <coughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> Bowling time. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Get another one. Oh. Um, got excellent news for you guys. They rolled low. <laughs> I don't think they rolled as low as I did. <laughs> All right, what'd you get, Jacob? Uh, twenty-six. Okay. Oh my gosh, you got a nine! I got a nine. <laughs> What's your dex? Oh no. A six. <laughs> I wow. rolled a three. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. We're off to a good start. What's uh, Sephora? <laughs> what'd they get? Uh, they, Sephora moves on my turn no matter what. Okay, cool. All right, cool. She does not have her own thoughts. <laughs> I am her master. All right, kid. Okay, Jacob, wow. you are up first. You see these five uh, Baylors. I'll go ahead and give them each like little colors. What would you like to do? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to fly right up here to this one. Okay. Spell synthesis. Right out of the gate. Okay. So I get to cast two spells with a standard action casting time. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, from each spell list. Um, so major spell list, I'm going to do maximized innervation. Ah, nice. And I'm using my spell strike ability to hit with it. Um, I'm not flanking or anything like that. Oh, casting defensively. Um, so that's going to be a DC 15, 19, 23. My bonus is a 28, so I'll make it. For what would they roll against? Just a hit? Or um, so voting? Oh. It's casting defensively, so it's a DC 15 plus double the spell level. Right. Got it. So they don't get an attack oh. opportunity. Got it, got it, got it. Um, You're rude, dude. You're going to make Jess deal with negative levels. <laughs> <laughs> the downside to this build... I have to roll three different times in order for a single spell to hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I buff myself out the wazoo, so best chance. Um, and then I roll to hit. Okay, I need you to make a spell craft check. They have oh yeah, resistance. buddy. Oh yeah! <laughs> you can and guess who has well. spell penetration and greater spell penetration. Yeah. No. And the kimono adds to it as well. I have oh. a plus 32. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> what, did, you, did you roll plus a Plus 32. 35. Wait, what is, uh, oh. what is there? <laughs> what, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. No. what is it that I'm looking for? Shoot. Their SR. SR. There, yeah. SR, SR is oh, 31. You got a what? I got a three. So 35. You 
pass by four. <laughs> That was amazing. I literally can't, can't fail this. That's what I was literally like, you can't. cannot fail. All right. Okay. Okay. I so in the future, oh. I'm just not even going to roll for concentration or. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, for you, you're good. Okay. Dude, I can't saying. fail either. Nice. <laughs> I have a, I'm oh. a plus 32. Dude, can I? <laughs> right. awesome. So I then got to hit. I got a. I'm not flanking, so I don't get that bonus. 35 to hit. Okay. Is it a touch attack? Uh, no, it is not. Um, and this is this is just an attack, or is it a spell? Um, so when I cast my spell, I use spell strike, and I basically attack with a normal attack. Because so instead of a touch attack, Vegas. yeah. Oh, okay. So you're you're using a weapon. Yeah, basically, I'm casting the spell and stabbing with a rapier okay. as the spell is that, attack. Is that including your divine power? Yep. Oh, okay. I get a plus 30. I rolled a five. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, not, using this die a good start. Um, as you go to attack this thing <clears throat> and you're trying to get through it, you feel a lot of the darkness around it resisting and you feel your blade barely miss. I do need you to make... Oh, no, you're fine. Never mind. Nope. You miss a 30... Uh, five does not hit. So that was first spell. Okay. Second spell is going to be from the cleric spell list. Okay. Going to use a quickened empowered innervation, maximizing it with the rod. Okay. Um, so all the same rolls and stats and everything, and I hit with my rapier. Mm -hmm. That is going to be, well, I beat the cast defensively spell resistance, and then to hit. Fucking hell. What you get? <laughs> oh, no. 32. No! Okay, let me go grab a step <laughs> yeah, of dice. dice. <laughs> yeah, that also misses as oh, you're Jake. piercing this darkness. <laughs> Jake. Yeah? You should grab the seduction d20. Yep, I got that. <laughs> what? Alright, you want it? <laughs> no, I got one of my own. Oh, oh you no. Nice. You both got them now, I guess. <laughs> you can All tell right. how we play D and D. All right. So, um, third spell. Okay. Right. Um. Um. Cleric spell maximize innervation. Thirty-seven. That does hit. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um. So it takes. Um. Well, rapier. 16 damage. Mm. Magic. <clears throat> oh. oh. And six negative levels. What? <laughs> yep. So it has a minus six to everything. All right. Mm. I'm going to just keep its levels over here. Be honest. Okay. <clears throat> so now it's actually easier to hit for me. As you have pierced with this rapier into this beast, um, doing what should be little damage actually turns into even smaller damage than what you're even thinking it would be. Um, it barely, Those negative like, levels. It barely Poke this thing it. with a sewing needle. You barely prick it. But then surprisingly, like, do like six levels of negative damage to this thing. Um, are you a Warm good up. aligned creature? I am a neutral aligned All creature. All right then. Okay. It does not apply then. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yes, that is my turn. All right, Zach, you are up. Orange has okay. been hit. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how well, to calculate negative levels with, a, with this, but we're going to work it out. We'll be all right. Basically a minus six to literally everything it does. Yeah. <clears throat> Jake, I feel like we somehow ended up with very, very similar builds. Just different methods to get there. Mm hmm Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Well, I can't do anything too crazy fancy because of how high of a spell level this is. <clears throat> I'm gonna... 
double check. It's been a little while since I looked at this character sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is totally fine. <laughs> cool. Why did it? Well, I guess I will... I'm going to go straight into Instinctive Casting 3. I am going to cast two spells. One with my standard action, one with my movement action. And I will just go ahead and double cast Delay Blast Fireball. Okay. Um, it's going to blow up immediately. I just wanted the extra damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to That's the gonna best drop. use of Delay Blast Fireball ever. <laughs> I'm going to drop them both on the, the <laughs> center guy. Okay. What's the radius which on that? Could be... Oh, actually, I need to take a five foot. Is this going to hit Jake? I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh -oh. No, I'll drop, Is it going to hit... I'm sure he'll be fine. Is it going to hit Tough? Is it going to hit Hargon? Hargon. I can drop it back. No, I can't. I can't. I have to... I have to hit somebody with it. <laughs> oh my it. gosh. Okay, well, Tuff's gonna have a difficult time of it. Maybe. Also, your dragon. Um, I'm gonna so it's it's detonate dragon. two it's not a, delayed it's not blast a fire dragon, okay? That's a common misconception. Question. Um, Copper has a very low melting point. <laughs> 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 so here's the thing though it's not going to do fire damage it's actually going to just do force damage mm -hmm. oh so two uh, so it's going to be 40 d6 I need them to make two reflex saves okay uh, dc all is all of them right they're all everybody oh okay everybody okay uh, dc is 29 okay hang on let me 29, you say? 29, I say. Do Rangers um, get a Am I still in the blast radius? I'm not on my computer no, right now. You're not, you're not. You're safe. Cool. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you if the dragon roll does twice. Roll twice. Then do I have to take the lower result? No, you have to take no, both. It's different two, uh, there's uh, two it's... different fireballs going off. Oh my... Okay, well, one of them I didn't make it. <laughs> Uh, we basically did build the same do build rangers different have ways. Evasion, Jordan? What was that? Do rangers get evasion? That's not a ranger. He's a cavalier. Oh, shit, that's right. Yeah, um, so Sephora's dead. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'd like to apologize. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> no! How much damage was that? Wait, hold on, Zach. What hold if you on. cast it over here but moved a little further? It's well, cool. I don't want to hit myself. Them. I will definitely <laughs> kill myself if I'm in it. <laughs> wow. You roll the damage. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm rolling. Zach, how much damage was that uh, you said? I have. Oh, okay, okay, We're wait, wait, wait. Reflex saves right now. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah, if I set it on this corner of this computer, and instead <laughs> of five foot stepping away, I five foot step up, um, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Or just don't worry about it. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. You guys are outside. That's cool. You guys have never had fried dragon before. It's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna bother rolling spell resistance because her lips. I can beat it yeah, without any problems. Yeah, you said that, so that's fine. Okay. Gosh, that minus six. Also, um, all of them. They so I need to 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 tell you something. Um, they are all also ethical nemesis of my, uh, nemeses of mine. Okay. So they also all roll at a minus one against this. So they all get minus one. All right, I'll redo those. Is that I it? mean, you just subtract right. okay, one. Okay, so this is it. Yeah, yeah. So these are the rolls. What's the DC? And they're all going to take... A, an additional 2d6 points of damage. Uh, the DC is 29. Okay. Tw 29. So So roll your first damage first. We'll, can, we'll calculate that to them, and then we'll do the second one. <laughs> okay, so if they pass, they get half, right? Yeah. 
Okay. So half of that is math. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay. So red <coughs> takes thirty-three. Oh man. Blue takes all of it. Green takes all of that. Oh, that would have been fine. Orange. That's takes only one. All I know. That. Yeah. Unless How you much like damage is it? double that on the uh, over double that in the next one, I, I, I would be fine. All of that. Uh, Sixty-seven damage if you failed. Okay. All right. First one is done. Okay, now so okay. <laughs> I think. Do negative levels do something to hit points too? I think it's yeah. a minus five to hit points per right. negative level. So it's at a minus 30. Okay. Minus 29 beats it though, right? Uh, if it got a 29, minus 1, it fails. Right, it does fail. It's minus... Six, <clears throat> All right. All around, your explosion blasts these desks out of the way, and the chairs go flying um, as this force eruption... Um, uh, definitely makes an impact on all of these bailers as they growl and cry out with a guttural roar. Um, they did not like that. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. All right. You Noah. may want. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna get insane. <laughs> <laughs> I weaken them for you. Here we yep. go. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna be done cooking dinner by the time it gets back to my turn. <laughs> right? So, the funny thing about this is it's actually not a, uh, like, trample or stampede uh, build. Mm -hmm. This is a single target build. But each of these is gonna go down in one round. <laughs> my gosh. So, okay. Ong is going to probably shout something along the lines of, For her still. And then charge forward, but him and both of his mammoths have the coordinated charge feet. So they all get to do this simultaneously. It's not like one after the other after the yeah. other. They are literally all charging at the same time. So they're it. all within range of this thing, right. making their attacks together, which is very important. Yes. So he will charge forward, and then Akka will charge forward, and then Daka will charge forward. Wow. <laughs> Prime. Aka <laughs> Prime. <laughs> the arrow points the opposite direction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, and Ong has Pounce, so he'll be able to make a full attack action. And then Aka and Aka Prime will both be making a single attack. I just wait. I just realized the really super nerdy reason for why it would be Akka and Daka, right? Yep. DXD Akka. D Akka, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the derivative of Akka. Derivative of Akka, oh, exactly. Nice. <laughs> you said there was a lot of math that went into your build, right? <laughs> there is. This there is was. Literally, I had to do so much math. <laughs> well, you haven't even started rolling yet. I haven't started rolling yet. Okay. It's going to so, be a lot of math, too. All of these attacks are happening at the same time, but I'm going to go ahead and roll all of Ong's attacks first, and then Akka's and Daka's attacks. Okay. 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 So Ong is going to roll his first attack against this with, I will add, his plus five furious menacing spell stealing cold iron falchion. <laughs> All right, love it. Um, so that is going to be 
a d20 plus 45. All right. You can still miss. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Oh my god! Oh no. So oh. here we go. Oh <laughs> I will also say that doesn't, like, that is that is wild to me because the like, crit range on this is 15 to 20. So. Oh my gosh. Dead oh, leader burns. No. Let's go. This, okay. This is, this. We have, we have now entered the insanity of the build yes. right off. I'm okay. So excited. I'm so excited. All, me and both of the mammoths have outflank. Okay. We also have pack flanking. So this okay. configuration, because we're all adjacent to this, counts as flanking. Yep. Outflank states that when you and a creature with outflank are both flanking the same creature, if one of you threatens a critical against that creature, it provokes an attack of opportunity from um, the other from the flanking creature. So this will provoke an attack of opportunity from both Akka and Daka. Okay? However, we also all have... Where is it? Um, paired opportunists. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which means that if, if an attack of opportunity is provoked from, like... For one of the creatures, it also provokes an attack of opportunity for the other. So, <laughs> Ong is getting the critical. Both of the mammoths are attacking. Ong is attacking again. Yeah. With attacks of opportunity. We'll go ahead and resolve this. <laughs> the other mammoths also get the chain attacks of opportunity. Theoretically. Yeah. They. So <laughs> you can't. So the, the rule is basically the rule is basically that you can't get multiple attacks of opportunity from the same, uh, okay. like from the same threaten. Right, mm -hmm. but if any of these next three hits are criticals, that's a new threaten, so that will chain, okay. and we'll Let's, get all three yeah. another set of attacks. One oh, little good. thing at a time. One, I'm just, I'm just explaining what's about yeah. to unfold. I just wanted to make sure, real quick, that yes. these are not in, immune to flanking. Criticals. Uh, oh, no. flanking? I, they wouldn't be. Just wanted to make sure because I've been, re I was reading like a bunch of different things. They're not all they're not elementals. Okay. They're about. I think they're about to be dead elementals. Is there a? Okay. Like I think we're gonna kill these things so hard they come back as like mm -hmm. denizens of the plane of dead. Okay. No, 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 no. I do not see anything. So yeah, you are fine. You're good. Okay. Okay. I... okay. Okay, you're going for purple. I'm going for purple. Or, yeah, purple. Yep. Okay, so another thing that's going to come into play for this first attack, mm -hmm. I am going to choose to forego the critical damage for this critical and instead use the spell stealing ability on my cold iron falchion. Okay. So I need to know every single magical effect that this thing has up. Not just spells, magical effects. That can be spell like abilities, supernatural abilities, like anything. It has true seeing. It has a flaming body aura, unholy aura. Um that's everything that it has on it. Okay. It's I am going to attempt to steal the unholy aura. Alright. Okay, what do you need to roll for that? So I am going to roll a basically caster level check um, against the caster level of the effect. Okay. So what's the caster level on that effect? Eight. Okay. Eight, I believe. I, it's what um, like it, where it says like school and level, and then it has like all the names of things that can cast it. Okay. It's eight. That well, that's that's like the level of spell it is. What's the caster level of the effect? That I wouldn't know. It's on the here. Let me. Do you mind if I pull it's up the CL, It's a CL twenty. <clears throat> it's CL twenty. Yeah. Okay. CL twenty. So I need to roll against eleven plus twenty. So I need to hit a thirty-one. Um, this is going to be a pretty slim chance, I think. I don't, I don't think it's. I think I don't think it's that terrible. Oh, I, I see. It. You're right. Yeah, CL twenty right there. Thanks, Zach. You got it. There's a lot in this character sheet. <laughs> yep. Get through it. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, I get to use it. You know. 
<laughs> I'm excited. You get to use it at least once. <laughs> I hope. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> We're going to see what happens. You can't the take them all out. In the next 30. Ah! You don't know what I, I know. I, can't I would take really them all. like for one of them to try casting implosion on me. <laughs> I mean, hold on. I need, to, I need to figure out what the caster level of my sword is. Give me a sec. Do any of you guys know how to determine the caster level of a magical item? <clears throat> Oh, is it based off the caster level of the, of the item? It's based Shit. off the caster level of the item. <laughs> that's... Oh, oof. that's strange. Uh, what's the enhancement bonus? Uh, total plus 10. <coughs> what about of the enhance... of the... It's probably based on the caster level of the person who did it. What, what level is the spell? Uh, the spell is... so... Well, spell stealing the thing is yeah, yeah. What's the what's the enchantment? What's the spell uh, the enchantment? It's caster level thirteen, but oh, that, not, that's not the only enchantment on this. I think it would use the would, highest caster level um, for okay. whatever highest spell it is. Okay, but do you like because it also has a plus five on it. So does that have an innate caster level or no? Um, I don't think so. Or would it just ha or would it have the caster level of like a fifth level effect because it has that plus five? That's a really good question. I'm guessing probably the best one you're gonna get no, is no, 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 no. It says the wielder may make a caster level check. Use oh using using the, the spell level, spell caster, level, level. caster level. It's so plus it's enhancement bonus. So yeah. I'm, oh I'm, oh. I would say it's probably the, the like 13, the highest 18 plus five. five. The thirteen plus five, eighteen. So eighteen. Okay, so I need to roll a d twenty oh. plus eighteen. Did I get a better get a twenty or better? <laughs> this thing's about to lose its unholy aura. Um. Well, no. I need to get. I need to get a thirty-one. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I do not. Ooh, close though. This is okay. Yeah, close. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and roll damage on that attack because it still deals damage as normal. This is for that was to get through the spell resistance. Is that right? No, that was to steal its unholy aura. Okay. Are you? I do need to ask. Is are you doing a? This is a spell attack, or is this? No, a, like, that was an enchantment on the sword. Got it. Okay. I'm just making sure, it, like, if there's not a, you need it's, spell. It's not a spell. It's, it's, okay. Spell resistance does not factor in. Okay. So this was I'm this was sure. an attack. You went to attack. My so my sword has spell stealing. Right. Uh, so I for I for I forwent my critical damage to okay. try to steal it in Holy Aura. Right, right, right. All right. Um. So I still get to do normal damage though. So that'll be normal damage. Yeah. Uh. Air quotes D4 normal. Plus <laughs> I don't think there's anything four. normal about this. Yeah. Right. And oh oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Okay. Oh no! The lowest you can roll is forty six. All right. Okay. Now, I'll give you an attack of opportunity. Okay, but you did not take away its unholy aura. I did not take away its unholy aura. You did hit it. I did bypass its dr though. That is fine. Hopefully. But it has. No, I did. It's cold. I I have cold iron. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you also hit its unholy aura. Are you a good creature? I am. I am. A, I am neutral good, as is my deity Aristil. Okay. Is that a melee attack? That was a melee attack. Okay. I need you to roll a fortitude. Save. What's the DC? <laughs> Twenty six. I have a plus thirty two. Do I need to roll it? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. You successfully don't have any of your strength drained. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Just for reference, Akka and Daka have a plus 30 con uh, as well. They are also neutral good creatures. You would have because... lost five strength on that if you had not had that. Really? Well done. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, Unholy Aura sucks. This is so bad. This is, this is one of the main reasons I went for a uh, normal Barbarian as opposed to Unchained Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Because the con increases actually help that kind of thing. That was yeah, smart. no kidding. Smart. Good call. Um, yeah, so now Akka is going to get an attack okay. of opportunity. Akka, take it away. Oh Akka is going to roll a d20 plus 44. Oh, 
Uh, does a 58 hit? Yes. <laughs> Sadly, that is not a crit. Um, but that is going to do 6d6 plus 52 damage. So it'll be 71 points of damage. Okay. And then Daka is going to get an attack in. This thing is looking bloody. Does it a 48 hit? Yep. Okay. And that's going to do 70 points of damage. Okay. This thing is not looking good at all. Um, it is. And now Ong is going to make his second attack. Okay. Oh, wait, you... no, sorry. Ong is going to make his attack of opportunity. Sorry. Okay. As you're looking at this Baylor, and it's, it's um, uh, life is just flowing out of it. <laughs> it's just getting hit. Uh -huh. It's almost like it's like sp sparking um, and being ripped apart. Like you can see in through the blackness, mm -hmm. like more of the like the the fire that's within it. Almost as though it's like it's just on fire. Um, but there's also this chaotic. Um, element to it, um, not like an elemental, but similar to where there's just a lot of power that you can feel within this thing as you are shredding its body apart, that its body can no longer contain this power. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's happening. I'm ready for it. All right, it. great. <laughs> uh, so... Ong is gonna make his attack of opportunity. He has three more attacks, his mammoth still has their two attacks, oh, so they have to make shit. Okay, alright. Well, this is Ong's attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh 53. That hits. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then that'll be 2d4 plus 44. <coughs> 50 damage. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, uh, Ong is gonna make his second, oh. It um, takes a negative. Oh, nice. Um, but we can, because it's all on one turn, if you would like to continue and finish your turn. Um, I won't provoke any more attacks of opportunity for it, but I will do the attacks that I have. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna add it like that because I feel like if you're attacking something, you're gonna use your whole turn and attack it, right? You're not mm -hmm. just like, oh, just one fire. It's not like, it's like, oh, no, I'm everything. Done now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you are currently at negative eleven for this guy. Okay. So we're gonna see how how far you get. All right. <laughs> Ong's second of four actual attacks. <laughs> okay. Which technically uh, is still hit. it's still alive. It's just under. Yep. Okay. Yep. Fifty. All right. <clears throat> uh, so that'll do forty-six damage. Okay. And then third attack, 50 again. Hits. <laughs> 49 damage. Okay. Wow. Fourth attack. Oh my gosh. That's technically a crit. Okay. That's a crit. Then. Um, it's dead though, so would it provoke attacks of opportunity? Probably not. No. No, okay, yeah. That's fine. Um, uh, crit, crit. <laughs> it's not good. So this will do 44 <laughs> plus 88 damage. Oh my there's gosh. A, there's a spell that I need to have up right now, and I don't have it up, oh and no. it could probably 95. kill me. 95? Yeah, It could probably kill you. And I think it's going to get me killed. Okay. Uh, uh, did you not put Major Armor or a shield up? Aka and Daka now get to make their actual attacks. Okay. No, not that. Uh, I need an anti-magic field. Oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I I was misdoing some math. That last one wasn't actually fifty, or the the the, the fifty wasn't fifty. It was um, forty. Does that still hit? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're good. Um, so what? Yeah, one d twenty plus forty four. Fifty two. Hits. And then that'll do yep that okay 
And then uh, Daka will attack I like it. with a 49, it's... dealing 75. All right. That is my turn. Oh my gosh. You successfully took it <laughs> almost all the way back towards its health. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the final number is negative 348 to this guy. Um, oh my god! Who was at wow. full health at the beginning of your turn? I might add. Wait, uh, what? Or no, I was he at full no, health? Because Zach, never mind. Sorry, he wasn't at full health. Right. Sorry, I forgot. Literally, sorry about this. Negative three. I'm like, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, you did help. You help. Um, yeah, and as you are hitting this thing, and the embers are flying, and um, its skin is now. The blackness has just erupted off of this thing. The power within it can no longer be be contained as um, in an eruption of flame and unholy damage, it explodes in a blinding flash of light. Um, and everybody needs to make a reflex save. Yeah, this is why I needed anti-magic field up. Oh, this, this is what I forgot. E this yeah. is what I for forgot. So I'm dead. <clears throat> Reflex. Uh, how's a thirty treat you? What's the DC we're looking for? The DC is thirty three and a half. Oh, okay. Well, Shit. this might be that bad. was for That was Daka passed, um, and then. Uh, nope. Shit. Okay. So, Ong and Akka failed, but Daka succeeded. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone who fails takes 100 damage. Half of it is fire. Half of it is unholy damage. Ha! I I'm only still take, adding up mine. I only take... Wait, so if it's, if it's two sources of damage, does DR apply twice? Um, Does the DR apply, apply to both like of those Like, it happens at the same time, right? Like, boom, boom. So you would, you saved, so you I, only I think saved. I have, I have DR2 all, so. Yeah. I think, it's, funny. Yeah. I think it's one source, it's just two oh, okay. types. Yeah, it's so I take 98 hit. damage. There you go. <clears throat> that sucked. Okay. Um, I got a 33, does that make it? That does. You save on the money. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, that was my, and then that's if, my if lowest it <laughs> skill. Half? Save. If it passed half? If you pass half, you take half. Cool. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah this might be a bad deal. Um, I, I still have 419 hit points. Let's go. What? I'm at 44. I yeah, I'm I'm 44? doing okay, but I don't. Uh, I didn't. I did not get very many hit points. Jess, I have 517 hit points. I'm at 195. Solid. I need. I I have 144. I'm just down to 44 now. I'm rolling for the uh, other guys. I need to make sure that they don't explode too. So I'm pretty sure they're immune to both of those damage. That'd be not, hilarious. They just, start all, they just all start popping. Unholy aura doesn't give immunity to unholy damage. They're not unholy. It says they're not immune to that. What about unholy aura? Like in the subtext of unholy aura. Does oh no, we just chained a, a <laughs> explosion of <laughs> baby no. orbs just down oh, the line. God. No. And it kills They're, everybody. They're only taking the unholy damage, but they also have a DR, so it's not as bad. But I need to just make sure with each one that they're not. So hang on a sec, let me do some math. Oh no. Doesn't elemental damage or like that type of damage like bypass DR? Like magical damage by S D R. Uh not according to this to okay. its character sheet. It depends on the DR. If it's like adamantine if it's DR adamantine, it's, then it it's, takes a certain kind of it's DR good cold iron. Mm -hmm. uh. So those ones go through, but everything else is this DR fifteen. Oh yeah. Yeah, I should also mention like the Tusk Blades on Aka and Daka also fully by S D R because not only are the test plates cold iron, but Haka's attacks count as good aligned. 
Of course they do. <laughs> yep. Okay, that one succeeds. So that one only takes... Aka is basically a scion of Era still. <laughs> and Daka is a scion of Aka? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so by trans the trans by the property. Trans the property. <laughs> okay. So red took some of that damage, blue took no damage. Good, just a badass Green over there in the corner. No damage. Um, orange took 35 damage, and purple is dead, so, there we go. Let me get a nice <coughs> dead sign on purple here. Purple has exploded. Alright, was that your turn, Noah? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you guys for waiting. Alright. Uh, we got Mammoth done. All right, the Baylor's turns. Let's freaking go! All right. They don't have to go if they don't want to. Okay. I'll say from the back of my mount, you can give up now if you throw down your weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with your best spell, I dare you. <laughs> okay. Um, we're dead. Orange. We're so fucking dead. We're going to start with Orange. Orange is going to... Um, take its whip that is in its left hand. And um, it's going to do a full round attack um, action on Jacob, on, on nukes here. Mm -hmm. So that's four attacks. Let me pull up the math here. Okay, does a 35 hit? Hold on. Math. Oh, but it's a minus six. So... 29? 29. Does the 29 hit? I'm seeing if... Um, there it is. Divine power. Uh, nope, does not add to AC. Okay. Um, my AC is 16. Okay. It so is going to hit. That one hit. Oh, How is your no. AC so low, man? Oh, no. Oh, no. So no. Jacob. One hits. <laughs> uh, what about, was like, points. mage armor or shield or... Or a ring of protection. It's second Seriously. <laughs> Those would have been good ideas if I thought about them. It's oh, oh, no. <laughs> Literally, I was like, okay, I as much innervation and irradiation spells as I can. Eh, second first level spells, I'll just throw in these few ones. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Call it here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's next hit also hits. I rolled a natural 17. Don't they just get like magical armor training though? We do, but I wanted to wear the kimono. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It gives me some really nice bonuses. It's Does it not go over your armor? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. or rolled. under your armor, Brit. Uh, not one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, and I'm just making sure I can do this. So, um, I can use different weapons on a, an attack if I have. Four. But the whip can't hit him. Not the whip. I can't do it with the whip. But I can do it with the other one because I have, like, its long sword has. For attack, right? Pluses. So you could hit it with the long sword four times. Okay. But can I do like three attacks with the whip, and one attack with the long sword, or is it all one? Um, technically, you could I think do that, that would be two weapon fighting, wouldn't it? Or uh, would it be... No, 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 because no, two weapon fighting is just extra attacks. Never mind. Two weapon fighting is for extra attacks. I oh gosh. But it would be offhand weapon. It would be an off. It would be. It would count as an the the one you're not. Focusing on for that one will count as an offhanded weapon, so it would follow the rules for two weapon fighting. Actually, yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't well, beat for two weapon fighting. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be two oh. weapon fighting, would it? Oh, it oh then it can. 
It can get more than just those four attacks, then. Yeah, it gets bonus attacks. Oh, it also it gets bonus attacks. Weapon fighting. It gets three extra attacks. It gets, <laughs> so it'll take it. It's, it'll take. It'll have to pick which weapon it's using as its primary weapon. Okay. So either it's sword or it's weapon. It'll get four attacks with that, and then it'll get three attacks with the other. Okay. Oh. Okay. Great. So I'll do the whip as the off because I just did three. Mm -hmm. And now I'll do four attacks with the long sword. Well, you can't hit Jake with the whip. No, I didn't. Because I miss on that yeah. one, right? What well, no, but he's not in the range of the whip because the whip is a reach weapon. Oh, got it, got it, got it. But That's I would have. I see. It okay. would be. So it is one or the other then. Longsword or whip, not four attacks. It's longsword attacks. or whip, but with with greater two up in fighting, it can attack with the other one. Got it. Yeah, it oh, can just do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then let so yeah, me... It takes longsword or whip and then gets oh, another yeah. three attacks So with because other. it has reach then, why don't I instead move here? But the thing is, it says or on the melee page. Oh. So it's melee, it's sword, vorpal, fl so, vorpal flaming whip, or two slams. No. That's two slams, though. That's for the whip specifically, though. I see plus one vorpal unholy longsword, plus one vorpal flaming whip, or two slams. So the whip or the slam. Are we kind of? Well, the two slams are the natural attacks. The attacks or it's the natural attacks. It's the sword attacks. and the whip or two slams because natural okay. attacks don't blend with melee combat very well. Oh, I see. So then, in okay, so so I could only use the whip. Is what you're saying? Or I could use no. The, okay, okay. You can you pick the sword or the whip at the beginning of each turn. And then it makes the four attacks with that, and then it gets to make an additional three attacks with the other one. Got it. All right. So in that, uh, game, yeah, which, right? it looks like this. It looks like the sheet's already set up to be sword is primary, whip is secondary. Oh, is it? It yeah. has four they do four have modifiers for the whole, for the long sword and three for the whip. So oh, okay, yeah. then yeah. Okay, so. The bonuses and things are already set up. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can. Oh, you can use the whip against anything. Wait, what? You can use. You can use a whip with any against foes anywhere within your reach, including adjacent foes. Oh, seriously? Oh, yep. okay. So it's fine. Dang. Okay. Okay. Because then I was. I was gonna feel bad. I was gonna be like, well, then I wouldn't have attacked with the whip because I would have moved and. Attacked. No. Yeah. You can. You yeah. can attack. You okay. can attack anybody with it. All right. So now I'm gonna be using the long sword. On Jake, we good on that? Is that right? I'm making sure I'm doing it right. You get to that use both. Tough. You okay. get to use both okay. every time. All right, cool. All right. As long as you don't move. Yep, I didn't. I didn't. All right, so now I'm gonna use my long sword. Um, that's gonna hit. And again, that hits. That is a nat one. <laughs> and the final attack. Dang it, I really wanted to cut off your head. All right, um, no. So I've got... Um, one, what a wonderful two, thing for the GM three. to say. <laughs> uh, I want your heads. I want your heads. Bring out your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my God. Six plus 13. And then... 2d4 plus... Seven. Um, since my last attack with the whip missed, I'm not entangling you, which is also annoying. <laughs> yeah. The amount of damage you do oh, is probably going to be. Good job. <laughs> All right. So we're going to roll it in here. Okay, these are from the long sword. Uh, is from the whip. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. So thirty-eight slashing with the magical uh, vorpal and holy longsword, and then with the whip, um, it is a 
flaming whip. It's also magical, but it does not do anything else to you other than the nine damage. Okay. Well, that's orangey. Um, we're gonna go blue. Blue is gonna be in the back here. It's gonna spend its full action summoning um, a demon. Oh no, oh no, not this. <laughs> So it, go. it's gonna. Can, can I guess if no. somebody disrupts it. <laughs> can we? I can't remember. Is dispel magic a react like a? It's not a reactionary thing. Cast. Oh, as like a counter. It's yeah, instant, it's instantaneous. Yes. Oh. You can cast Ooh. that. Cool. Oh no. I'm gonna dispel magic that. Oh my gosh, okay. What do you gotta roll for that? This is a summon... Let's see. It's a level 9. What's its caster level? 20. 20. Okay, so... Caster level for all the Baylor's effects, I think, are 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah usually it just has one caster level. Mm-hmm. This isn't going to be easy, but it'll be... So, I have to make a dispel check of a d20 plus my caster level, and I have to beat 11 plus the spells caster spells caster. So I have to beat 31. Wow. Okay. Yep. Huh. You got a 50-50 shot then, right? You got to roll an 11 or higher. Essentially. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Son of a gun, it's a six. Oh. Wait, I should have rolled it in roll 20. Dang it. <clears throat> oh, I know the problem. I'm rolling GM dice. You I are can't rolling roll your GM dice. dice. I'm rolling my Ooh. player dice, which is, like, not as good, clearly, as GM dice, so... I right. need well, to designate some GM dice. Promote somebody. You try to stop this in the... The bear. There we go. I rolled a 13. <laughs> yeah. um, you do try to stop it, and unfortunately, there's a lot going on in this room right now. You're not able to continuously keep that concentration through. Um, towards blue. Uh, okay. No one's luck has been as bad as my luck uh, oh. last week. Yeah. <laughs> that was rough. I rolled six nat ones. In a single combat, <laughs> and two sets of two were back to back. One of them was an advantage roll, and with advantage, I got a one. <laughs> wow, it was impressive. <laughs> in all the wrong ways. Okay. I really didn't I mean, mean yet. Like what I've been yeah, like what I said first three <laughs> happened. And I'm like, I've, I've rolled three nat ones, and Jordan's just like, so far. Wow. <laughs> what I was trying to say by that was, oh, you haven't, you've only rolled like three things, and they've all been nat ones. Uh -huh. And the way it came off was that I cursed you. <laughs> yeah, and, and then I proceeded to roll three more nat ones. <laughs> and at the after that, your bird was just salt in the wound, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Red is going to look uh, at Noah and these giant behemoths. So. Uh, hey, good. <laughs> um, That's a good place to look. And the red one is going to cast Implosion on you, Noah. <sighs> so you Come need on. to make a fortitude save. <laughs> but I uh, What's the save? Right, never mind, you can't. I've literally been asking you <laughs> give me your best spell and you go and cast it on them uh, no one's uh. gonna destroy. okay then we've got green okay Zach you get your wish green's gonna cast implosion on you the answer is no <laughs> I know <laughs> Power resistance 53. <laughs> Suck it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. 53? Oh my god. Holy shit. I mean. So don't cast anything on Zach and then he doesn't want to cast on himself. Um, you also have spell turning up. 
Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't affect. Unfortunately, Im implosion is a level nine spell. Oh. Spell turning only affects up to five levels of spell. <sighs> I think. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Actually, it's a roll. I need to wait, wait. I might actually wait, don't oh. kill this thing. <laughs> I might actually <laughs> almost kill it when it's on spell. Don't kill it. <laughs> if you kill it, it'll kill everyone. <laughs> I'll be fine. It is the roll. I'll be close to death, but I'll be fine. <laughs> oh no! Oh I am. I am genuinely concerned now that Akka and Daka are gonna bite it, but I can always resell them. <laughs> oh, yeah, they can not move back. Back. We'll get them. Unfortunately, back. I got eight, so oh. I was one off from being able to spell turn it's, implosion. It's probably for the best. <laughs> um, oh my gosh! It would have survived two hundred damage, I'm sure. Oh, it just points at you, and then it just starts to, like, cough and yeah. explodes. <laughs> and then it takes all the other bailers with it. Okay. Oh. Um, Red is going to fly up about, let's see. Red is going to fly 90 feet up in the air. Uh, straight up, which this room is high enough. Um, then... Green is going to move flying over here. Well. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's that about? You just cast a spell. You can't do anything. <laughs> it's true. Not on this turn. But can move. But can move. So, um. Red is flying. We'll give it like a little token of some sort so that we remember ninja there we go all right that is its turns woo let's go all right jordan your turn okay the moment you've all been waiting for very patiently i'm sure um all right so i had a plan that plan is gonna not work um real quick though did i get a radius on uh like the explosion that this thing caused when it blew up yeah, that one. How far out did it go? A hundred feet. <laughs> so we're not getting away. Okay. In lieu of that plan, uh, I'm going to just... Uh, I'm going to raise my sword in the air and say, Ha! You think you can best me? And then I'm going to use my challenge. <laughs> I'm challenging this Baylor to a fight. It is. And then... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's going to regret that decision. Um, <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to have Sephora do her attacks to begin. So this is going to be a lot of dice. Um, so first off, uh, first set of attacks. So I might get natural attacks wrong. I basically get all of them, right? Like if yes. I get and you don't get iteratives, though, on natural attacks, correct? What do you mean? No, iteratives do not apply. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, first attack is going to be a 39 to hit for the bite. Okay. Um, you hit, and as you hit, you take five points of fire damage as you bite I'll down on, on fire. <laughs> okay. Well... That's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, this thing is going to take... Uh, 8, 11, uh, 31 points of uh, piercing damage. Okay. And an extra 3 points of, shot of uh, electricity damage. The electricity does not appear to do anything. Uh, this is a magic attack, by the way. I'd like to point out. Okay. Um, what yeah. was the first one? Cool. Was it 31? Sorry. 31. Okay. 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 Second attack. So this is claws at a 20 plus 27. Ooh, uh, 31. I don't think hits, does it? Does does not. That's is it less okay. as a touch attack. It is not. Oh, okay. Um 
And then second claw attack was worse. Uh, Sephora is really letting me down here. Um, it's okay. She's still, you know, a dragon and stuff. All right. That makes it my turn. Okay. Um, so with my challenge issued, uh, oh, wait, we're flanking. I forgot about that. So I had plus four <laughs> to, uh, uh the AC. It would have 35 hit. Nope. AC is 36. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so close. All right. Yeah. No kidding. All right. I'm going to use my plus five keen scimitar of speed um, to do some attacks. I cannot miss the first two. I've got a plus 38. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I mean, unless you get an at one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 40. <laughs> oh, that's also true. No, I'm definitely still rolling them. Okay. Oh, that is a crit. Funny enough. Ah! So that's the first two. The second oh. one's a crit, which okay. means that Sephora gets another attack. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, that is definitely going to hit. Um, it's a. Uh, uh, what's 11 plus 27? 38. 38, yeah. So that hits. Yep. Um, well, I'll resolve that first. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming she takes another. Uh, five points of fire damage. She will take one point of fire damage. Oh, okay. Well, that's better. Um, okay, so that's gonna do another 31 points of damage. Okay. Um, then, for my attacks, the first one was just a normal hit. So that's gonna be a plus... So, da, da, da. sorry, I'm looking here. D6. So, plus, so 18 plus 19. So, 37 damage <coughs> on that first attack. Second attack was a crit. So, that's going to do 8. Well, <laughs> Sorry. Nope, you're so good. it does the same. It does double that. Exactly. Um, so another thirty-seven or? Uh, no, 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 no. So it was it was thirty-seven the first time. Now it's gonna do uh, seventy-four. Seventy-four, yeah. Okay. So that's my first two attacks. Now come the ones I can actually miss. Um. So now this one's at a plus twenty or thirty-one. Things looking bloody. So yeah, uh, you just make hit. sure you don't kill any of these until it gets uh, to my next turn, at least. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that unless you want no. me to. Hold <laughs> I would really rather not you kill me, and All probably right. kill Jacob's character as well. Uh, that is a good point. I'm not feeling great either. And he's attacking the green one. Okay. Um, What's the radius on that blast? 100 feet. 100 feet. feet. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's gigantic. <laughs> okay. Um, in that case, I might call it no, here. No, that no. was another crit. All right. By the no, way, which means can... Sephora gets another attack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a hit. Um, so Sephora does... Uh... Oh, wait, those are the wrong dice. Uh, Sephora does 27 points of damage. Okay. Um, with a bite. Um, I'm gonna do... Oh, max damage. Um... Uh... Oh, you know what? I actually have something for this. Uh... 12... So that's, uh... 39 twice. So. <laughs> God, I can't do math anymore. Uh, 78, 78 damage. Okay, hang on a second. How's this thing looking? On a scale of Stop. 1 to 300 something, it's about a 53. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> um, the rest of my attacks are going to be trip attempts. Uh, okay. Since I'm a cavalier, I can like basically free trip attempt it. Um, I'm not going to take any of the attacks of opportunity that I would normally provoke from a trip. Okay. <laughs> but uh, okay, so the first one, 
is going to be a plus 26. Uh, oh, no, I should have a fight. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, a, a 31. Oh, yeah. What What does a 31 do to this thing, CM? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, what does a 38 do to this thing, CMD? Uh, it's CMD is uh, 54. Okay. So nothing. I don't think that I can roll high enough to... Actually, if I get a 19 or 20, I can, but I'll keep doing it. Um... So I've got one more with the that uh, that's not gonna do it. That's running. <laughs> that's me. Field. <laughs> I gotta I gotta remember Get how this works. Out of the blast radius. Um, Jake, just stick close to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I might actually attack this thing again, but it's not gonna do much damage. I think. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want to bull rush it. How does this work? Sorry, it's been a while since I put this character You're together. You're totally fine. There is no rush here. You're doing great. Uh, oh, I forgot about bashing finish. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. <laughs> and basically, I get a free shield bash every time I crit. Uh, <laughs> put down that anti-magic field. <laughs> You what? Yeah. I said on your turn you should put down that anti-magic field. That's exactly <laughs> what I am planning on. <laughs> okay. I do have a question on how does an anti-magic field interact with me considering that I can't beat my own spell resistance? Um, I'll look that up. <clears throat> Keep going, Jordan. Um, okay, so I'm going to get three more attempts to bash a shield. Uh, with the shield bash, I'm going to try to trip it. Okay. <laughs> um... Uh, that definitely doesn't do it. Uh, that was a crit, so that doesn't. Oh. <laughs> I get a 53. Oh! <laughs> Which, in CMD, so, is a 54. Oh, is it a 54? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. crap. Oh, wait! No, 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 no! That's right! I have. I have a thing. <laughs> I have. Uh, my trip attempts are better because I'm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is it tandem trip? Is that the one? Let me look this up here. Well, just like greater trip and all that stuff, also like. Well, yeah, this is with uh, my trips are insane. I'm at a plus thirty three for my trips. Oh no no no! That's just roll twice, take the better result. So I can't trip this thing. No. How does anti magic field interact with like enchanted weapons? Okay, yeah. Uh, I they mean, become they become suppressed. mundane weapons. Yeah, it says that they're still, like, a magic sword goes into an anti-magic field, it's still a sword. It just doesn't have magical effects. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay. You are gonna um, gimp me. Yeah, I think you're gonna gimp all of us. Uh, I mean, it's I... It's not that big. It's not that I big. Can, I can kill this thing, but I can't do much else to it. So I'm just gonna abstain. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it has not tripped. No, it wasn't. It was never gonna be tripped. All right. All right. Any, but anything else then? Is that your turn? Um, we're gonna leave it there. Okay, Nuke's turn. Hey, I am going to. Zach is after you. I want you to know that you are. Oh, yeah, um, if you want to be in a little protective bubble from one of those explosions, I recommend staying within 10 feet of me. <laughs> the problem is I can't do anything if I'm in that bubble. But then you can just pop out, shoot your spells, and then pop back in. Do you have an answer for my question, Jess? Of what would happen with you being in it? What's your question exactly again? Like, <clears throat> so if it suppresses spells that go into it, what about being cast out of it? What if I cast a spell well, it out? it suppresses any spell or magical effect used within. Yeah, so that would so, technically... So I'm saying if it casts and then it goes out the... So but you're outside. using the this, spell in this the barrier surrounds you and moves with you, so you're never going to be able to move out of the barrier. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. That's it what should it says be in the first line. The invisible barrier surrounds you and moves with you. 
What if you cast it on these guys? <laughs> on the Baylors? It's centered oh. on you. Is what it is. Oh, oh okay. it's centered on you? Hug it. <laughs> Which is great for... Um, stopping stuff from getting into you, but... Um, yeah. Fine, you know what? Instead, I'm gonna do something a lot worse. Oh, gosh. No, I'm gonna get it's... some space then. I'm definitely getting some space. <laughs> Dude, like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Abort. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Baylor, 100 feet. Maybe it'll be worse. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing with random spells at this point. Mm hmm. All right, I'm going to use my kimono's ability because I don't want to provoke a top attack of opportunity. Okay. Um. Are so sure? I basically sure? that <laughs> Baylor right in front of me basically just instantly gets sucked into the kimono and is trapped in a maze spell. <laughs> oh and, my um, gosh! You see on my kimono, it actually now shows next to the cherry blossom tree the Baylor. Is there no save for that? There's no save. Oh, Wait, it's gone. Oh, what? It's just sucked in. Otherworldly kimono. Once per day, the wearer can capture a single creature within 60 feet within the kimono. No save. Shunting the victim into an extra dimensional space, uh, similar to that created by the maze spell. Amazing. Um, inside this otherworldly prison, the maze appears as an endless cherry orchard filled with walls of windblown cherry blossoms. Oh, it hates it. it oh hates my it so gosh. Much. Um, on its turn, it can attempt a DC 20 intelligence check to escape the kimono as a full round action. Okay. Oh, okay. So eventually so, this thing's going to get out. It eventually gets out, but for now, I'm safe. Yeah, okay. Orange is gone. Can you, like, run away from me, please? <laughs> With you joy. You dispel it. <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> How far away can you get? <laughs> you are flying, remember? Wee. <laughs> I think that was it. Wee. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, to be to be a little bit clear on this map, so red and is like the bottom floor, right? Like this is the first floor. Um, the balconies above come out over the top. So, like the the next outer rim is like the second floor, and then the third floor is like the rock cement stone um but everything even the first floor and second floor they all go out to that amount that's just if you're like oh i want to be on the second floor where's the balcony at that's where it's at gotcha so mm -hmm. jake are you staying on the ground or are you flying up in a way like at an angle like where are you i'm staying on the ground so i can get the full 60 feet away all right cool okay um and then I'm going to cast. So let's see, that's the level. Yeah, I'd say all the bookshelves and everything have like flattened out here. Like it's there's been explosions. So um, if you want to hide behind something, you just have to duck really good. But you can walk over stuff and fly over things, no problem. I'm gonna cast um tear serious wound or nope I have to do a quickened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a quickened spell. This is important. Okay. All right. Is that gonna be your turn? All right. You can heal up yourself. Tear moderate. Yeah. Well, let Zach go while you're doing that. Yep. Basically, that just that. <sighs> okay. This, you guys all watch this <clears throat> Baylor disappears in a poof of cherry blossom leaves. And then you see nukes just book it, flying it out of, out of that radius. I'm laugh when this thing pops back into existence. <laughs> right next to, right next to yeah. her. <laughs> At least it's a full round action. Yeah. Good idea, though, getting it away from everything. Oh, and it has six negative levels. It's going to be impossible to get out of this. What do I have to roll to get out of that? 20. Quicken is a plus four to the spell level, right? I want to say yes. 
lot, whatever it is. What was your resistance that you cast on yourself, Zach? Uh, resistance from was my spell resistance. Oh, was it a spell resistance, or I thought you cast a like a cast, energy or something? I cast protection from spells, spell turning, spell resistance. Got it. And divine power on myself. Got it. I would like to point out that the l easily the most deadly thing about these Baylors right now is the fact that they pop when we kill them. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> easily the most deadly thing about them right now. <laughs> hmm. But what can I do with this? just gonna go ahead and cast time stop okay <laughs> smart choice okay. please feed us all potions <laughs> yeah I'll save that. sorry bro <laughs> I have, I have kind of them <laughs> just go walk okay? and start jumping them <laughs> I rolled a four. Oh. okay so you have five okay, rounds so I have five rounds you can't target any creature with an attack or spell that's the only thing I'll just remind you well about. I can, they're just invulnerable. <clears throat> I think I know what you're planning. Oh, no. This is I unfortunately something I should have thought of beforehand. We're all um, dead. We're all, we're all yeah. dead. We're all dead. Bef well, before I'm not I use two uses of Delayed Blast Fireball. <laughs> oh, gosh. <gasps> oh. Where are you? Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, Please so revive us when you get past time stop. <laughs> I'm gonna one, two, you guys three, do have four. I hope it is a good Does resurrection. That include plan? resurrection. It includes Six. everything. Oh, that guy's flying, right? Yeah, he's ninety feet up. Okay, let's I'm assuming it, it extends to Aka. Uh, which guy is flying? Red. Red is flying <laughs> ninety feet up. Oof. Sweet, okay. I'm, still, I'm out of his radius. You're just finding the like worst this. mad bomber build of all time. <laughs> <laughs> just running around placing delayed blast fireballs. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to blue guy. I am going to. Slow this is so I. So this is that's one uh, I guess. So I cast time stop and then I have five rounds. Yes. Yes. So that would be movement. Yeah. I'm going to cast delayed blast fireball. Okay. Round one. I'm going to put it at uh, five rounds to explode. Okay. I'm going to put the bead in the Baylor's mouth. Okay. Bead? Yeah, the bead. bead. The laid blast oh, fireball creates an yeah. actual physical object that you can handle and throw. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to feed the Baylor a bean. All right. I mean, it's 14 feet tall, so... Toss it, you got a little time to practice. Yeah, I'll just oh, let's toss it in its mouth. All right, it's in its mouth. Like like throwing a grape to a <laughs> It's got a huge bale. mouth. Okay, yeah, it's huge. Okay. And I'm assuming it's yelling at us. 
they're a, a constant state of rar and charging. Well, this one's in the process of conjuring. Oh, you're demon. right. This one is conjuring. Yeah. So it's oh, probably yeah. a whole bunch of like abyssal stuff. Okay. A pinch of this. And then <laughs> let's see. In abyssal, <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh. Damn, and I wish I had more level 7 spells to <laughs> do more of that. Hmm. I just say we're only in round 2 of combat. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is awesome! <laughs> I did kill one in one round. You did kill one in one round. You did. You you <laughs> killed I mean, to be fair, you were doing like ten hit point or ten Baylor's worth of damage in one round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That cold damage, man. Iron, cold, iron, cold iron. When I said this is the most mathematically insane character I ever made, I was not exaggerating. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um I'm going to cast uh I'm going to cast floating disc of all things. <clears throat> what? <laughs> <laughs> to like grab someone are you going to put someone on that? I think he's going to fly up and throw <laughs> another one in this Baylor's mouth. Oh. No, this is so I can reach the other one that's up in the air. Mm. That's what we were saying. Eventually. Yep. Yep. It's only. It can only fly three feet above the ground at all times and remains level. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't fly. Can't down. lift at all. Shoot. You can put no. stuff on it. You can. It can hold 100 pounds of weight per caster level, but it just Not doesn't helpful. fly up. Question: <laughs> Could I cast floating disc underneath a Baylor? Um, the one that's flying. <laughs> I just put yes. the feet on top of it. <laughs> no, 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 just like right under its feet. Yeah. And then and the then effects of the spell, feet. it lifts, it buoys up three feet. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> and, then I, and then I have a panther on, <laughs> on a disc. <laughs> Can it do a kickflip? <laughs> I would say I, it does, I don't a, know you that can it... make a spellcraft check to see if you can do that. Um, What's the DC? Well, it's a level one spell, and it's a um. I'm asking what DC is. My first, my spellcraft is max ranked. It's a plus twenty eight. So I'll just roll. I'll just roll a. I. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think it's gonna give me anything. I. I've, DC is 17. You can do it if you want to do it. <laughs> I don't think it helps me at all. Man. I will say this. The Baylor is 4,500 pounds. Oh, that's so fine. It wouldn't be able to if it's a hundred, Baylor. 100 pounds times... Yeah, I guess not. Or 20... Oh no, it would. It what? would. It would. Twenty thousand, right? Yeah, I could lift. Two thousand. Uh, yeah, it could. It'd lift be two thousand, wouldn't it? Or is it two thousand? It'd be two thousand. Oh, yeah, it'd be two thousand. Significant yeah, figures, it would, man. It they always get you. 
You get three discs. <laughs> cast time stop to cast three floating discs <laughs> underneath this giant bear. Man, I wish I had planned this better and had those all those delayed blast fireballs for the time stop. Because there's not really anything I can do while I, I am. <laughs> but then I'm like too far away. Uh, the range on this. Oh, okay. I guess I can, but then this awesome, cool spell that I was going to cast that was going to break everyone's magic is that's not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> Fine, I'll be boring. Whatever you want to do, it's a one-shot. So did that make get lifted up, or is it still on the ground, or like, what's going on? No, it's still on the ground. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to walk over here until I'm... A ways off. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, I guess so. Okay. So you had at the end of my turn, five rounds later. Okay. A delayed blast fireball detonates inside of okay. Blue Baylor's face. Okay. All right. As uh, anyone who is paying attention no longer sees, uh, Carlin and is just immediately sees an eruption um out of nowhere Sorry. what's that you got you guys are inside of this one. <laughs> oh no well no it's it's head is 15 feet up hmm? so i'm not the blue one is 15 feet up blue is they're 14 feet tall yeah no i was saying uh tough and sephora oh yeah uh, I, I mean I'm, we were probably gonna die right. anyway did you want to put it just like over here, Zach? Because it's just a bead. Right? Uh, no, I wanted to put it in its face so it wouldn't get a reflex save. You can't reflex save against your own face. Oh, that's what you're doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> against your own face. <laughs> Imagine the devastation of an delayed blast <laughs> fireball going off inside of this Baylor's mouth. All right, everyone else then that's in that radius, go ahead and make a reflex save. Am I in that radius or no? No, you don't. You're not. Uh, how how wide's the radius act? What's the what's the DC on this? Or thirty. Uh, yeah, the DC better. is a lot. What's a lot? Jordan, I'd say mm. you're out of it. You're out of it. Twenty nine. I'm on top of the dragon. It's a twenty nine for you two. It's a thirty for the Baylors. If if the dragon hit, gets hit by it, I'm probably getting oh. hit by it too. Because I'm like right here on the dragon. It's just hard to. It's the twenty nine. You said. 29. For the Baylors, oh. it's a 30. Okay, well, I passed with Aragon with a... Th <laughs> Wait. What was that? No, I did not. Never mind. Okay, green... Sephora passes. Oh, good. Green gets a 30. Okay. Um... You're ruling on whether or not blue gets a reflex save or not. I just thought it would be funny if it was in No, its blue, it, you're in its mouth. It's it's fine. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to pass. Okay. No, I rolled low enough. It's fine. Yeah, it fails. Okay. 77. Okay. Um, force damage, right? This is force damage? Yep. Right? Yep. 77? That's enough to pop <laughs> Greeny. Um, no, so, Greeny saved. Oh. So it takes half of that, right? 30, uh, 30, 15. eight. Yeah, 38. Okay. Okay. But I'm also doing the minus. How's Greeny looking? Right. Green, green uh, is that no. something? It should not get DR against this. DR is for, like, melee attacks. Unless it's got, like, a specific, like, I guess that's not DR, then that's a, like, an elemental resistance. Yeah, I specifically chose force. It has no resistance to force damage. Gotcha. And as far as I know, no one has resistance to force damage. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the special thing about it. 
Gotcha. Mm -hmm. See, sorry. So I was using oh, DR as though it was like with anything other than those. That's no. How DR works. No, DR does not work against magic. It, it doesn't it, work it, against it, magic. It, it, All right. There are special cases where it can. Okay. Karini is almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean that all of these should be more damaged by the other delayed blast fireballs that went yes. off? Mm -hmm. Let's not think about uh, that when there's one that's going to blow up in my face. They all, they've all should have taken 30 more points of damage. Or let's not think about that. Well, there's one that might blow I'll, me up and I'll kill me. I'll go ahead me. and do it. I'll go ahead and do it. Except for Greeny, because Greeny I've been monitoring. Um, Greeny is... I'm going to keep it at 14 health. So, Jordan, you're not going to explode. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, you know what? Anything Never else? mind. Anything else? Okay. No. Okay. No, that was it. No. 77 damage. <laughs> you know what? I just realized if I say that I don't want any of these to blow up, then it's going to kind of gimp it, kill me. Noah. Send me to my death. Send me to Valhalla. Okay. We'll bring it back. Don't worry. You have life insurance. <laughs> I like to imagine that's what life insurance is. And like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Jacob's character and I are over here like, go ahead, guys. You got it. <laughs> you're, uh, you're the champ. I, I took my Baylor to go. That's right. <laughs> oh. Dude, when that Baylor well, pops out, it's getting yeah. hit in the face with two polar rays, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, um, I hate to bring it to you guys, but it's gonna blow up when it does that. Go for it, Noah. So, so red is, is up in the air, right? 90 feet up in the air, yep. Okay. Um, how is the blue looking? Mm, on a scale of 1 to 300 something, about 177. Okay. Wait, are the polar. What was that about the polar rays? Uh, well, the next thing that I attack is gonna get hit by two polar rays. I am least. going. I am maybe going three. To make a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play the risky play here, not the safe play. I am going to char. I'm going to free action use the command for my celestial armor to give myself fly. Okay. And I am going to charge Red Baylor 90 feet up in the sky. Okay. And my <laughs> mammoths are going to charge Blue Baylor. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot. And I didn't know it too. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong move. Oh, wait. So, Ong is up in the air with Red. And because I'm not using coordinated charge, because the, the mammoths are not attacking the same target as him. I'm just going to resolve all of his stuff. You guys first. have celestial armor too? <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone but Jacob has celestial armor. I mean, it is like the best armor. It, it is. is. Yeah. The best armor. It is. It is. Just the best it armor. is. Yeah. Spellcasters. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of Ong's attacks and then get all to right. the Mammoths later. Go for it. Well, I, I think it's funny that I'm a full spellcaster and I'm like, yeah, celestial armor is the best. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, I'm an actual mages and I have no armor to speak of. Nothing <laughs> at all. You really can't wear armor and the kimono at the same time. That okay. sucks. Blue, blue lost its concentration, by the way, on uh, summoning the, oh, yeah. uh, the creature <laughs> that it was going to summon. Just... I can't imagine why. <laughs> I like to imagine it's like this zoom in on its face <laughs> and the Seinfeld theme song plays and then it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to take red is going to take 49 damage okay what kind of ma magic magical cold iron ma like cold iron magic whatever Great. you want okay um red and then still the best the, looking of all the next attack hits 49 damage Okay. 48 to hit. It's 50 damage. Okay. It's below 100 now. Oh, my gosh. oh. Okay, hit. Yep. 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 Oh. Yep. And I'm just going to do the crit damage. Okay. Screw this thing with unholy armor. 
<laughs> you could try to steal its boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a magical effect that's active. I'm, like it's never mind. Blow me up. It's a uh, supernatural. <laughs> Well, I could I can steal supernatural, but the thing is, it's, it the effect is not active until it dies, so I can't steal it. Don't worry about it. Um, Don't worry about it. Nuke me. Um, also, this one's ninety feet up in the air, so I think you're actually yeah, out of it. Everything is out of it except for Noah. Noah's within the. Is blue um, in it? Nope. Blue's head because it's fourteen feet up it's in the air. It's like over by like fifteen feet though, so. Oh, I mean, if we yeah. get, there's a one foot we gap. Get, like a Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's it singes fine. one of the horns. <laughs> I was I was hoping it would hit blue, but we're okay. Yeah. Then we get a Baylor chain. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. Baylor> chain. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come up with a name for that phenomenon. Oh, okay. Wait, I saw this once in a Minecraft. Uh, a in a Minecraft session. Uh, no, we need to, we need to come up with a name for the. The chaining of Baylor explosions <laughs> as they die. <laughs> I'm sure you could make no, that into a build it somehow. Not, it's, no. it's negative. It's negative six, but it's not dead. Dead. Oh, it could okay. still save like a Constitution saving throw and stay. Okay. Well, oh. isn't it now going to fall but it will because fall. it's unconscious? It will fall. <laughs> also explode. <laughs> it will okay. fall. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, it shakes in the rain. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, oh no. crap! <laughs> Do you have any other attacks, Noah? No, that is that that is Ong's turn. Okay, but now it's Anka's turn. As um, okay. wait, doesn't it fall sixty it's feet just, around? It's, it's just yes. gonna fall. Okay, <laughs> we've got a chance. It falls, isn't it? At five hundred feet around. That's how five E is. It's sixty. Is it really only sixty feet around? Oh, how many? It's like yeah, generally. Oh my gosh. Let's find it. Let's find Scatter. it. Let's find it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I did not think about this. 100... This thing just starts falling and everybody just goes, oh shit. <laughs> we just got a bail. This oh, one man. is a Reddit. It says 150 feet in the first round, 300 feet in the succeeding rounds. Straight line. Let me see. Not the books. Find the books. We need to know. <laughs> Pathfinder, terminal velocity. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's a fairly big object. Can catch a lot of wind. <laughs> Could. It's got wings. It but, has wings. I mean, count for <laughs> you drop something off of, you know, the third story. Yeah, I mean, it's like 90 feet up, right? So you count. 90 one, feet. Two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Six. There is a phrase in Pathfinder that states that a character cannot cast a spell while falling unless the fall is greater than 500 feet. So that would imply that they fall at a rate of 500, 500 feet per round. Per round. <laughs> okay. That's how five I years. Think, I think sixty feet per round. Isn't that like featherfall? That's featherfall. Oh, that or makes sense. Or if, that's if the fly spell ends, if the fly spell ends and you're still in that's the air, right. you descend at a rate of okay, 50, no, sixty feet per round. Yeah. Do you want me to have this fall before your mammoths hit? Because it'll fall. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, well, actually, after hmm, your mammoths, it's gonna hit the mammoths either way. Okay. Would it? it my question is: Would it fall? I can just immediately on my turn, or would it fall on its turn? It's uh, it's gonna just fall now. Oh. Is what it's gonna do. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's just gonna happen. So yeah, just yeah. Okay. All right. Before your mammoths attack, then this thing yep. falls ninety feet to the ground. Okay, and it's going to do. That's a D6, right? Is that per 10 feet? So it's a D6 six, per 10 feet, I think. Six. Okay. Anybody okay. want to... Okay. It's I probably shouldn't look at this. Negative 50. Which, it's... Yeah, that's going to take it. Okay. There, is there any way you would allow me to try to dispel <laughs> his explosion? Because I don't want to die. 
Red Baylor Nigga. We'll greet you on the other Red side, Zach. Red Don't worry. Um, okay. All right. It explodes. Dang it. Everyone within 100 feet needs to make a reflex save. What's the DC? The DC is... 33. Halves it. I made it! <laughs> All made it. Nice. Are you sure? It's <laughs> yeah. We both made the first one. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Ah, shit. No, wait, that's a 32. 16. Crap, Zephora's dead. Taka and Daka both failed. Oh. They're so Guess who's going. healing next uh, round? The other Baylor's failed. Yeah. So, guess what happens with the green Baylor? Yeah, uh, they're all gonna I'm go up. Of the radius. Oh, man. I might actually survive this. Okay. Um, I'm not. The green Baylor's gonna explode now. <laughs> okay, so you take half on a... So it's 50, right? You take half. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, so it's... Tw it'll be 25 fire, 25 unholy if you're taking half. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can both still survive this if I roll remarkably well. <laughs> Oh man! That's me. <laughs> There's the four. <laughs> What's it, is, is green exploding right now? Green has exploded as well. Okay. Um, well, I died already. No. I also passed that one. Um. Oh shit. Blue is still alive. But Daka and Daka still <laughs> both failed. That is not looking fun. Are we rolling for blue now? Um. Blue is still alive. No, blue is still oh. alive. Blue is, blue is struggling with 77 hit points, but uh, is is alive <laughs> for now. Oh, good. Sephora hey. died. And I was uh, both just of us out are of range. Oh, no! <gasps> I look at her with a single tear in my eye one oh, last time. Oh, no! <laughs> you were a good dragon. Oh. <laughs> And, and then people burn to death. Would, oh, oh, how negative are you? Uh, Sephora's like negative 40 something. I'm like <laughs> negative. Oh, no, wait. I might actually still be up. Because I was at 87. Check it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still up. No I'm way. Still, I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh, okay. Because I'm at negative okay. 30. <laughs> negative. Okay. Aka and Daka are now rushing blue. Uh oh. Okay, they're still up. Okay. They're still up, yeah. Alright. I was at negative 13. Zach, what are you at? Dead. Negative. Okay, alright. Noah's turn. Or Mammoth's turn. And Mammoth's turn. Akka's turn. So Akka's gonna charge and use um, the. Uh, whatever it's called, the cooperative charge thing. Yeah. Coordinated charge yeah. uh, with Daka, and they're both gonna charge a blue at the same time. Great. Um, and then Akka. Okay is going to attack. Hits. That is actually a crit. A crit. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so that'll do 12d6 plus 104 damage. Oh my gosh. So there's no way you can't kill there's this no thing. There's no way, yeah, this thing's exploding. <laughs> The question is, is it going to take Aka and Daka with it? <gasps> okay. So, question, is it still up? Nope, it's dead, dead, dead. It's exploding. Okay, well, <laughs> Daka is also still going to make its attack. Okay. As it explodes. <laughs> You're negative 72. <laughs> okay, is that it? And that is it. All right, it's at negative fifty-two as it explodes, and anything within hundred feet needs to make a reflex save. So Noah, you're safe. You're out of it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. This is blue. This oh, is I was blue. out of range of green. I just realized, so I didn't take that damage. Uh, Jordan, you're gonna have to roll. <laughs> Oh, I don't have to roll anything. I'm dead. Oh, okay. 
I don't okay, think I'm cool. passing any reflex saves. Right. I heave my dying breaths. Okay. Oh, oh holy! Oh okay, no. no! Okay. <laughs> well, Aka is dead. Well, let's see if it's dead. Dead. Oh my gosh! It's not dead. Dead. Aka is unconscious. Yeah, Daka dead. is still up. Wow. On thirty-four hit points. <laughs> okay. I made the save. You did. With a natural 20. Okay. I am at negative two. Oh my god. <laughs> I oh am technically god. alive. Okay. Okay. Um, those of you that are conscious then see as this with this final Baylor. Um, well, I guess not final. You know what? No, because we're not we're not out of it yet. There's still one left. <laughs> So, um, that's gonna be Noah, that's your turn. This place sucks just as much as I remember it sucking. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, Jacob, what do I have to roll to get this thing out of your, your thing? Oh. Oh, I lost you. I think we lost Zach and Jess. Yep. Oh, are we back? Oh my god. We're back. Checking. Fun fact. Checking. Oh, you, hello? Oh, we're back. Okay. Hello, hello. Uh, there okay, go. there we go. Jake, what am I rolling to break free of your maze? Oh, um, it's a straight <laughs> intelligence right. check. Oh, great. So it's like super bad because it's got a minus six. Um, okay. Um, why would it have a minus six to its intelligence? Because it has a negative, is six negative, negative levels. Negative six levels. It's the orange one. Is that affect one. ability scores? Um, checks. Oh, okay. Okay, so it normally has a 24, so that modifier is a plus six. Yeah. So it's a zero. <laughs> um, it's going to be stuck in there forever. What's the DC? What's the... 20. <laughs> It could get out. Okay, all right. This turn, it does not get out. <laughs> so five percent chance of getting out. Okay. Um, Jordan, your turn. You can roll to see if you stabilize. Oh, uh, after that last little uh, fire show, uh, I'm gonna assume my lungs are seared to the point where I can't stabilize. Oh really? You're dead, what lungs? You're calling it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're gonna have to use oh, my dental records the, to oh, resurrect okay. me. All right. Okay. Noah, I guess. What's going? On? What's happening? Or no, no, not Noah. Jacob, go ahead and you're you're negative two, right? Negative two. Yes. Okay, so see if you. It's just a. Stable. What's the save DC? Uh, you just roll a Constitution. Yep. Yeah. Ten plus your Constitution, ten. or the negative hit points you take. Yeah, ten plus negative hit points. And I'm rolling a D twenty plus my Constitution. Correct. Modifier, Modifier yeah. yeah. I made it. Ooh. I am stabilized. You're stable. With a Baylor in my kimono. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, Zach is dead. I'm just a ticking Noah. time bomb at this point. <laughs> Go ahead, cool. Ong is still alive. Yeah, so the Baylor on Jake's body is like a ticking time bomb, right? It's within inside of his trapped kimono. So yes, it yeah. will eventually come out. Um, yeah. And uh, so we're going around... I can see that. Uh, no, I'm still up. You are. Oh, so I had a calculator for hit points and hit points on my character sheet. I updated the calculator with my key light wounds, oh. not my actual oh. hit points. Nice. So I am technically at 14 hit points. Nice. Okay. All right. Nice. Is there something you want to do oh. on your turn, Jake? Uh, key wounds. Key okay. Wounds. Bodies. Right. Oh. No, your turn. Then. <laughs> so who all looks like they're still breathing? <laughs> Jacob and one of your mammoths, or both of them, one of them? They're both, with both of them are still breathing. Both. One of them. Just I'm breathing. also using spell synthesis or a quickened spell for yeah. more healing. You see some ash moving over by Jacob's body. <laughs> he is still alive. Okay. Uh, so wait. So so real quick, just to clarify, Jordan and Sephora are both dead. Oh, yeah. We look like something that got stuck at the bottom of an oven. And Zach is dead, dead, dead? No. Okay. Um, 
You muted yourself, Zach. I don't know if you meant to. Okay. I guess I will fly down to Aka. Um, because I was 90 feet up in the air. Mm -hmm. I need to use both my action and my move to do that. Yep. Um, Daka is going to use its auspicious boon to heal Aka for a d6 plus 20. <laughs> Twenty-two. Okay. What is your ability, uh, Jake? That it's in. What's it called? Your medical um, kimono. I just want to see if so, there's stuff I can do while inside of it. Yeah, it's in called the otherworldly kimono. Um, yeah, once per day, where I can capture a single creature within sixty feet. Um, each round on a turn, the victim inside the kimono may attempt a DC twenty intelligence check to escape as a full round action. Um, if it doesn't escape, it's released after 10 minutes. Got it. Oh, so you got 10 minutes at at most. I love this. Um, Aka is then going to use... So Aka is now conscious and fine again and is going to stand up. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Okay, it'll get to it's the baler. We'll try to break out. Nope, does not break out. Okay, Jake. Here. Wait, you said it's my turn already? Yeah. So it oh, couldn't. Oh crap! It couldn't Everybody's break dead. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you still see, you see two mammoths moving, and you see uh, on moving. So that was a quicken spell. Um, trying to calculate here. Is Baylor free, or is Baylor still stuck? Still stuck. I'll get rid of these other ones. So I can't use that. Anymore. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna heal myself some more. <laughs> I um, some more. <laughs> so what I'm the, going to oh, cast. Okay. What were the final hit point totals of all the Baylors I killed? Um, the one that we counted was the best. Um, I have them all yeah. recorded. Yeah. Okay. Wise, so but I did delete them. Sorry, except for the orange one is. We don't know how low blue went then. Blue did not go as low as the other one. It was like 152, okay. I think. But I do. We can look back at. Them. I've got it on film. Okay, anything, no, or uh, Jacob? Um, yes, so I am using a maximized cure serious wounds. So that'd be 8, 16, 24, 29, 39 okay. wow. as the main action. That brings me up to 89. And then I'm going to quicken... Quicken Cure Light Wounds, maximized with my rod and my spell sword. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one use of that, and that's going to bring me up to 8 plus 5, 13. I'm above 100. That's where I want to be as well. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Okay, anything else on your turn? 
Uh, no, that's my full turn. Okay, Noah and the mammoths. Yes. I'm tracking a couple of numbers here real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. what round of combat is this? Um, like four or five. Okay. Like five or six. Five yeah, I think it's. Oh, I think it's five right yeah. now. Five, yeah. Six. So that'll be. Uh, how far away is... Where will the Bay will reappear? Will it reappear on Jake? Jake? It'll reappear right next to me. How far away are you? About like 90 feet. Okay, so you're within 160 feet. Mm -hmm. Or no, yeah. within 120 feet. Cool. Um, if we can kill this thing before it hurts me, I will survive. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Akka and Daka are both going to use their auspicious boons on each other. So Akka is going to heal Daka for a d6 plus 20. 21, and then Daka is going to heal Akka for 24. Anything else? Hold oh, on, one sec, sorry. And then we're all going to move back so that we are 120 feet away. Okay. So, okay, that square right there is 70. Fifty. Okay, thank you for doing that. So is the square I'm in one twenty? Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, your turn. And turn. All right, Jake. Or it's uh let's see. I think Baylor's. I lost Baylor's in there, but it goes Baylor's then Jake. Ah, oh, I rolled a nineteen. Okay, Jake, your turn. Oh. we will go Noah, Baylor, Jake. So Jake's turn. What you doing? There's where it is. I have way too many tabs open. <laughs> That's how it goes um, with Pathfinder. I have so you're over there. I'm assuming you have a ranged attack, Noah? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to charge it. I'm keeping my mammoths out of the radius so that they don't die. <laughs> ah, I see. Oh, actually... No, Daka... Sorry. Aka's going to stay out of the radius. It doesn't matter if Daka dies, because Daka's just a derivative copy. <laughs> so Daka is going to have moved closer but i'm staying next to Akka. Mm -hmm. okay if you guys want just get in the position that you want to be in before it comes out and we'll just have it break out and then you guys have your turn okay all right yeah i'm just waiting right there okay all right you guys ready and i am where i am yep all right okay cool i will have it go ahead and break out over by jake jake 
Oh, right. And it, it's looking pretty good besides it's negative. I mean, it's only been poked the once. I mean, it's negative levels are sucky. You see, there's a tiny oh. little pen prick in Slag. <laughs> yeah. It got hit by the delayed blast fireball, though, right? Uh, it did. The two delayed blast it did, fireballs? did, yeah. The first one, it did. Yeah. So let me do a minus to that. Too, so. All right. Yeah, it's been hurt. All right. Okay. Right. It is I'm... uh Jake's first. <laughs> All right. Lesser spell synthesis. Here we go. So I'm gonna get my full if I actually let me see if I have the spells left. <laughs> um if I got a quickened innervation, I can maximize and power that one. An innervation and another maximized innervation. Okay, let's go. So first, maximized innervation with spell synthesis with the magus spell. Okay. In my the dot spreadsheet here. All right, to hit is thirty. Miss. Or no, I just, I have a plus thirty. Oh. Forty-seven. No, it hits. <laughs> I was like thirty. All right. <laughs> uh, four more negative levels. Ah. Okay. Oh hard. no, that's a wait, that's a 17, that's a crit. That's, a crit. that's eight <laughs> negative levels. Oh my gosh. That's how this class is bit this okay. build is yeah. Oh you know what? Okay, so we haven't done this. How many points do I take off per level? Because I haven't done that oh, at all. One point per level. Only one point per level? Yeah. Okay. So I think it's five hit points no, per level. Five isn't hit it? points per level. Five hit points per level minus one point to everything else. Oh yeah, yeah. So okay, so it's at negative t fourteen now. It did because six, six plus, plus eight, eight is fourteen. So fourteen times five, that'd be fifty, seventy, seventy hit points less. Hold on. Um. So that was the first one. Hold on. Okay. So seventy hit points is what we're doing. Yep. Okay, it's bloodied. Okay, carry on. Right. Empowered innervation. Yeah, that was that maximized. So empowered. <laughs> Negative fourteen levels. Oh, that's um, amazing. That's a, a, I've submitted my. So I've I've added my submission right. to the meme contest. Uh, Forty. Oh. Oh, let's see this. Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> oh. What are they? They're baby lore. Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just little Baylors. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, they all explode. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So I hit with the empowered innervation. Okay. Um, so all numericals are increased by one and a half. So I'd be rolling a 1d6 then, or 1d4 and then times one and a half. Okay. One, uh, two negative levels. Oh I did not roll well. Okay. All right. And then hitting with a quickened innervation. Okay. This might still hit. I need to see if negative levels affect AC. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, yeah. This thing might still be <laughs> alive. In theory, it should, because, like... It's so weak. Attack rolls, saving throws, and skills. Ability checks, attack rolls, saving throws, and skill checks. I don't know if it does. It's, um, it's got a plus four to deflection, plus seven to dex, plus 16 in natural. Yep, I'm not flanking, so that's a 34. It doesn't have its dex as much, right? Doesn't it affect 
No, it doesn't affect ability okay. scores. Okay, never mind. All right, that misses. It affects ability checks. That misses. Yep. I'm seeing if there's anything I can do to boost that in this final moment. <laughs> I know, you're like, come on, I just want to kill you. <laughs> it's dead. It is, it's... I was like, I want to kill it so bad. <laughs> I will have killed all five Baylors. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's my turn. One of the Baylors killed the other Baylor, okay, to be fair. But I'm, I killed that Baylor, which then killed the Baylor, so I'm counting that. The ground killed one, okay. That, but yeah, okay. I dropped, you dropped it out it, of the air. <laughs> okay, no, uh, Noah's turn then, Jake? Okay. I didn't kill all five Baylors, yes. but I will have caused the deaths there. of all five all Baylors. Alright, Noah. Yeah, okay, go ahead, Noah. <laughs> Okay, me and Daka are going to charge. All right. It jumps out of the way. Um, let me zoom back in so I can actually see what's going on. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through my attacks. Oh, I haven't even been rolling with the plus two from charging. Oops. Excuse me. It's whoa. <laughs> That'll hit. <laughs> wow, with a two. Uh. Eight. Hmm. It did hit it twice, so technically it took damage. Yes. It has yes, and it's negative. Fifty-one. Okay. Second attack. Hits. That's a crit. Okay. Um, um, 18 damage, or 27 damage total for all my attacks. Um, it was an 18, or... 13, and then a 14. Whatever its <coughs> DR is. Yeah. Now you're done. So that is going to provoke an attack of opportunity from Daka. I'll go ahead and roll mine up first. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's still up. And Daka's attack of opportunity. Sadly, not a crit. Aww. I know, sad day. Um, but it will do 70 damage. How and do, then... How do you want to do this? <laughs> I, I'm rolling the rest of the attacks. Okay, do it. <laughs> yep. So, Ong's third attack... Oh, sorry, Ong got another attack of opportunity off of that. Okay, good. Which would... That'd been, yeah, that would have hit. So then. Seventy-four. Is that the last one? Yep. All right. At a negative two hundred and eighty-one. How do you <laughs> want to do this before it explodes? <laughs> um, like its own fireworks show for killing it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, this massive like flurry of attacks from Ong to where this thing is clearly dead. And then Akka like almost turns his, or not Akka, Daka turns his head like almost sideways, and like with this cleaving strike cuts it into like three pieces. <laughs> with the two tusks going through it. And so like a shoulders up, uh -huh. torso, and legs. And it does. And you see like the the orange sparks like just get wiped through as you make this. And you can see all the way through for the moment before it collapses on itself and implodes. Um, 
Make Did you say negative two fifty six? Huh? Did you say negative two fifty six? Two eighty one. Two eighty one. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Uh, Anyone who's okay. still alive can make a save right there. See. Um, <laughs> Ong passes. As, uh... It... I fail. No! No, I am at two hit points. Oh, I healed no. up to 102. You did. Oh. Oh. And Daka does not pass. So Daka... Only if one of us survives. Daka is... Unconscious. Wow. Okay. In this moment, those of you that are still up and awake, um, you hear the the grinding underneath you again um, as the red uh, plane of the abyssal plane goes out of sight and the material plane in blue comes back in. The library <sighs> looks as spotless as it was before the fight. And um, you can hear cheering from the center of the room uh, of these humanoids cheering that they have beaten the game. Um, and you hear them, you hear the young, the young ones leave, um, but the adult stays behind. And as the last uh, kid leaves, he goes ahead and he closes the door. Everyone who was dead is now revived to their state that they were in, in the same part of the room that you were in. So uh, Sephora is back. Zach, you are back. Jordan, you're back. You're alive. Mm. Um, and uh, Mr. Hoagland goes ahead and he locks the library door and turns around, staying inside, and looks at each of you and applauds. I told you he was a wizard. Oh, crap, he is the cult leader. <laughs> oh, is that commuted? <laughs> no, you should go to chill music. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I cast Polar Ray. Contingency <laughs> kicks in. A second Polar Ray gets cast. <laughs> and then I'm going to use instinctual casting and cast a third polar ray. <laughs> okay. For real? <laughs> Fine. Okay. Does he say anything or does he just clap? He's, he's clapping. He's very happy. Um, okay. Well done. Um, hmm. Good job. I mean, yeah, good effort. Definitely not the cleanest, but... You get the job done. That's important. So glad that glad that you were able to, to do that to do that job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Good job. Um, yeah, I thought you guys were going to do easy at first. <laughs> yeah, so did I. But um, yeah, no, we found that that um, those bailers kept coming back until until hard was defeated. So. Um, yeah, he just like walks over to like one of the computers and uh, pulls out a USB and saves the game onto it and takes the USB. Well, um, of course you'll be getting paid for your job today. And um, if you're interested, I have another job for you. Now let's hear it. Could you could could you uh, could you heal Aka real quick? Because uh, cool. he's about to pass out. Oh yeah, by all means, yeah. Um, he he pulls out a healing potion in the form of a diet coke. I don't know what Mister Hoagland's favorite drink was, but <laughs> um, and um, passes a few over there. Yeah, so, um, I'm sorry, I should introduce myself. I've been calling myself the teacher for a while, but, well, that is my name. So, uh, we'll just leave it at that. That's fine. Um, wow. But, 
it, there is another job and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty important to me. So if you're up for it and he pulls out um, from one of the many scrolls that he has uh, on his desk where he was grading papers, some of them have in red ink says like, you shall not pass on, on these papers, pulls out one and uh, slides it over to you guys. And it is a blueprint of a building there is a small picture at the top that is a little rabbit that's reading over a book and uh it says adventures underground on it uh so there is a very important item that is in this store that i need retrieved um small small thing uh can't buy it it's a it's actually a single person sofa uh, chair that that needs to be removed. Um, the, the other other problem is uh, it is guarded by the Slad Lord of the Insane. Oh crap! It's Slads. Slad. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you're if you're feeling up for it, you can. Um, I would. I might need a bit of a rest first. Uh, uh, no, not today. Not today. Not today. No. No, this would need this would need like strategic planning, and um, of course I can get you all of that later with all the details of the ins and outs of this place, and and yeah. But good job, and thanks for keeping this time safe. I need to check to see if they're immune to poison. <laughs> oh no, man. I really want to bring nuclear warfare into this. Yeah. They, oh, are. Man. they are not, but oh. dang, does that thing have a heck ton of hit points. Yep. Uh, hit points. 820. I can beat that. That's a lot. The, uh, That's more uh, that is more than twice than a, than one of those Baylors. You said it was the All slad I need Lord. Is two is a, slad Lord of the Insane. CR 27, 50 AC, 820 hit points. All I need is two crits, let me add him. <laughs> DR 20 magic and lawful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, he likes he likes to tend the store. And he, he's humanoid during store hours, but then off hours, he's more dangerous. So, But we got to kind of do it in a way that's safe, that we're not endangering the life forms of this planet. Oh, crap. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> is slam attack grants three negative levels. Dang. Ooh. Not a roll, just straight three negative levels every time he hits. I'm going to take this as a yes. <laughs> and uh, he's going to go ahead and let you guys plane shift back home when you're ready. Mm -hmm. And that concludes the one shot. Good job, guys. <laughs> so, Thank you, Jess. So, yeah, that you're was <laughs> Unexpected. Oh, yeah. I, I took over the role of memer. That was Next. great. I want to see mm -hmm. all these. The party. <laughs> I think... I think... Yeah, I think next time I might go back to uh, Pokemon Master. Mm. Mm. Nice I think I could be your... more effective. It's kind of nice to let your animal companion do all the heavy lifting, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> or your, I guess yeah. in my case, your Eidolon. Yeah. Well, I did just quickly throw together a level 20 Geokineticist, and I this Kineticist could outstrip what I was doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which just like, just has... Uh, 10d6 plus 19 as a normal blast and a 40d6 plus 19 as a composite blast. Dang. And could just keep doing that. I can't believe I managed to keep my mammoth alive. <clears throat> well done. Yeah. Pretty was... impressive. 
You and those two mammoths were just an absolute sack of hit points if you ever actually got attacked. Oh, yeah. yeah like, no Ong, Ong had 517, and Akka had 384. <laughs> so, yeah. so, Noah or Jordan or Jacob, one of you up for going into Adventures Underground sometime? And making a little blueprint of the layout of the mapping it out, <laughs> mapping it out because um, oh god, I might be able to do that from memory. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I've been in there real multiple though. times. You just go in there with like a with a measuring tape. <laughs> Surveying Sorry, equipment. I'm just doing this like, for a one shot. <laughs> it's one of those um the pushing like measuring wheels. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, just like a survey that. equipment. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You've got like the little like laser measuring tools. <laughs> this needs to be exact. Yeah. Hey, can I get behind the counter real quick? <laughs> no, it's hey, okay. It's okay. Back there? I'm just trying to play D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah. I have the... Um, I found the... Sweet bake room, guys. I was like Googling. Akka failed all of the saves it, like it made for those explosions. Like it ate all of that. Aww. Yeah, that was rough. Daka passed almost every single one. <laughs> I passed two of them, and I needed a natural 20 to do that. Thanks. I was incredibly lucky to have survived. As one. It was impossible for me to pass any of them, and mm -hmm. so I didn't. Man, that was uh, unexpectedly rough. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, just just the freaking death throw. That mm -hmm. was the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We were and unfortunately, it specifically said spell resistance does n does not affect supernatural abilities. Yes, yeah. only that spell like abilities. Rough. That's that what was I was rough, like. Rough. Hoping would save me, but my strategy worked. Hope to have a bunch of hit points. Have as many hit points as possible. <laughs> it was. A, it's always a good strategy. Yeah, no. Aka was, uh, was in the barbarian instant death uh, threshold, so oh. that's why I asked for the healing pot. Um, All right, that is the sofa that you guys will have to retrieve. <laughs> oh, there's a real sofa. There's a nice. real sofa. <laughs> oh, shit. It's that recliner. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that thing in there. I must just have it tuned out at this point. <laughs> That's part of its magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the Slod Lord oh. hides it from you in plain sight. It's true. Yep. It is the Slod Lord. <laughs> oh, crap. 